Okay, how's it going everybody? Back in action as promised with Blasphemous. I woke up early, I just wanted to play video games, I got everything else out of the way. So I'm good to just start this. I don't know how far or how long I'm gonna play. I'm thinking two hours, thinking three hours, see how far I can get. And then probably, that's probably it for maybe the weekend for streams. But good to go. I got this, I think I got this cheap for like 10 bucks off a of site using some like wallet funds I still had on there with a discount, but I'm good to go. I played the first, I played the DLC. I know it blends together by the, I know it's the ending based on the DLC ending. So I remember vaguely what happened. I don't know the plot altogether about this game still, like even from what I do remember. I know we're still playing Penitent One. I know the uh, second last boss is relevant to the plot in this because she's like the main voice throughout the whole, tra every trailer I saw for this game. But I know it's Metroidvania, so I'll probably be chipping away at this for quite a while. And I hopefully can get through like tutorial stuff by the end of this session, hopefully. So good to go. For some reason, it's not working on my end, though. There we go. Uh, start with the middle file. Always do that. And just let it play. Oh, is no one going to read it? I thought the voice was going to narrate it. The eternal there we go. dawn of our penances heralds its imminent end. That's not, that's the girl. Each was born to put an end to the other. Pretty sure. Now both await. But while yours slumbers, mine remains vigilant. May the miracle bear witness to this. Kind of loud on my end. By which I remain here for our long-awaited meeting. It would be funny if it was him narrating it. Wounded by the silence of this secluded existence. Hopefully we get to and scale then, the statues. As the city of the blessed name rose up, Born on the shoulders of three mighty statues, the resounding beat of a great heart could be heard emanating from the clouds, thundering like the knell of an unseen church bell, raised higher than any other, enchanting us all to lift our gaze aloft in an ascetic call to prayer. For the miracle was about to give birth to a child. Is it the penitent one? That's the penitent one. There we go. You play now? Nope, still going. The statue in the back holding the coffin looked like that one, uh, the one character from the first game that would just tell you stories, like all the lore of the area that you're in. He's good to go. I think he's not moving. F no triangle. There's the healing just smeared across the face still. Uh, press trying to consume your bile flask and recover vitality. The flask will refill by kneeling. Okay. Can't jump yet. His hand, it, his hand looks like it's rotting, but it looks like it's just like the wrappings. The other hand just looks like it, there's, it's just flesh. Okay, good to go. Choose weapons. Is there no combos with the one? You can swing it. Oh. Oh, I thought it was gonna 
Send like a seismic quake across the floor. Might be an upgrade. Oh, cool, you can cancel it. How'd I do that? Yeah, you can just keep spamming it. That's cool. Anything in the air? Okay, I can already tell it's better just use it in the air. You can attack backwards even with it. Normal attack is crap. Oh, that's... What about the range? It's the exact same range in the air even. Actually, more if it attacks above. Okay, what else do we got? Just blades. Oh, you can attack up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, can you attack down? Yeah, kind of. Is there any special abilities? Oh, I found the dash. Or I guess it's just slide, okay. Nope. Oh, they give you a dummy, okay. Should go back to the mace then. Oh, you can stay in the air a bit with this. How do you do that? Yeah, okay. You get two bounces. It's like Hollow Knight. Uh, come back. Gee, why, why allow it to die? Like, if I need to test it, just keep it there. Can I dash in the air with these? No. See, I'm wondering if you get an upgrade to, like, bounce longer in the air. It's, you get two bounces maximum. Just normal blade. Oh! It's got a parry. Did this one have anything? Okay. Just the cl Oh, no. Okay, it just goes on fire. That's... Okay, no parry for the big weapon. Can I bounce with this? Oh, no. Okay, you get quake. Keep a little air with this. Uh, I'm tempted to just start with the normal sword, like in the original. Actually, I haven't even looked at the menu. Okay, there's definitely more later, but so far not much in the menu to look at. Can I... No, you kind of commit to it. I just thought you can attack and then immediately dash through. Yeah, I'm going to start with just basic sword. Ah, uh, that's chosen there, can't thy companion on this pilgrimage. The miracle knows when thou shalt meet again in the presence of her two sisters. Okay. Yeah, I guess we get them later. Maybe they turn into bosses. That would be cool. Like Seventh Saga style. Anything else to look at? No, nothing so far. Actually, I want to make one change on the stream before I get going. Something looks a little off on my end. Oh, wait. I gotta un-pause on my end so I can see something so I can edit on the other end. Just to make things a little more clear for other people. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Good to go. Got everything else on the way. Yep. Good to go. Now, I do remember you do have to attack like the ground sometimes because there were secrets just in the floor. Basically, just check everywhere. That probably levels up later to be some kind of giant seismic slam. Grab ledges. I don't remember if you could do that in the first game. It's been a while. Slide. Now, they did say... This looks... That looked like a secret. They did say... they The designer developers admitted that the first game wasn't metroidvania enough like up to standards kind of thing so they've said oh 
Pressing before a premium will restore your health and flask. It is the only way to save your progress. Here at the left new visited. Okay. Like they said, this game was going to be a lot more Metroidvania. -y. So that's good because I, I when I played the original, I just felt there wasn't much going backtracking in that one. Oh, OK, can't touch it. I, for some reason, I think I haven't air dashed. Oh, crap. Okay, might have to smear some stuff on my face. There we go. He's gonna jump back or just go into the usual routine, yep. Okay. Can't attack him in the air. Do it again. Is there anything other attack? I don't have anything else right now. Whoa! There we go. First enemy dead. All the blood. He's gonna put it in his, his cone again. Got an achievement. Fighting the first thing. Put the blood in the cone. Are you going to get the blood? Burn marks of materdom. Materdom. Come on, you're not going to collect the blood? Is there anything else I can get here? No. First game, he collected it all and just put the dome back on. Hopefully we get some kind of like dash ability. Like just to get around faster. I bring you lore or a map could be both <laughs> penitent one returned from the tomb and walking among the mourners your awakening is now written on the eternal pages Anunthiada is my name and I hail from the heavenly mountains on high the seat and the beginning of all that is holy, so that I may address you. Did they change this since the original trailer? Because I remember that arm going all the way off screen. Look upon me thus as a preceptor in this enterprise, hailing from the highest of all seats. Or not an arm. Like, I remember that hand being connected to an arm, the arm going all the way up. Penitent one, the miracle shall give birth to a new child in a great heart descended from the clouds that watches over the ancient city of the blessed name from on high. You must reach it to stop its birth. But on this ascending path of penitence, the arch confraternity awaits you. Those penitents that the miracle itself took as its sentinels now await your arrival. The Arch Confraternity is a very weird word. <laughs> Orospina, the Confraternity of Embroiderers. Benedicta of the Confraternity of Endless Orison. Odon of the Confraternity of Salt. Lesmes of the Confraternity of Incorruptible Flesh. All under the dictate of the oldest penitent. The first among them all, who was... That's a good picture. Eterno, father of the penitents. That is a really good picture. Penitent one, the miracle has instilled three regrets in the consciences of three of its guardians. Only by revealing them shall you achieve the humiliation of the sculpted figures that hold up the city, allowing you to ascend to its upper reaches and finally to the great heart. I. Th 
That makes me think we're knocking the statues down, but I was hoping we get to climb them. Look for the guardians. Here's a map. <laughs> Oh, we get to move it. Uh, okay, it's probably like the same as the first one. Get the three like MacGuffins and then like a gate's gonna open somewhere for the second half. Only by revealing the regrets guarded by the three guardians can you ascend to its- She's already said all that. Okay, good to go. Ooh, that was a cool exit, actually. <laughs> that felt very digital for something angelic. Okay, pray. Good to go. Little uh, cherub in the corner writing the, f the lore. Uh, Grigal Bar is the most balanced weapon in your arsenal. Behind its four serrated blades lies a versatile weapon, able to combine powerful attacks without giving the enemies a moment's respite. Blood Pack will allow the enemy's wounds to heal the wounds of. Blood Pack will allow the enemy's wounds to heal the wounds of whoever wields it. In the air, press square, press parry with R1. I forgot I do have a parry. Oh, it's so rewarding doing that. I forgot all about that in the first game. I don't want to get surrounded. Oh, it feels so good to do that. I do have to check the ground though. I remember so many secrets in the ground in like the first game. It looks like he's scratching his back before he whips it. Is there a way to collect blood with it? it said there's a healing effect to it. Oh, they can jump! Okay, that guy didn't even try and attack. Okay, definitely a secret up here. Need double jump for that one. Open up! There's secrets! Oh, can we mark our map? Oh, we can! Uh, I'm gonna put... A... Blue gem! I don't like that it's the, uh... It's the photograph button on my controller. That would definitely hit me. I was hoping it was just gonna be the touchpad on my PS4 controller. Oh, that parry is so fun. What do we got? 800 tiers. I was already hoping for an upgrade. I don't know why I expected that in the, like, the first area. Fire parentess of the burial. Attack next enemies fills your fervor bar, which enables you to perform varied and powerful prayers. Equip them in your inventory. So to recite, find and provoke a powerful prayer. Okay, slap it on. Okay, that that's a good first one. Half my gauge though. What if I attack then? Yeah, this first there, I just want to check the floor. Oh, this is a one way it looks like for now. Parries are so good. There's the first cherub. Yep. 33 of them, okay. I forget how many were in the first game actually. They weren't that close together in the first game. And this time they look like they're like blood inside the vials. Oh! Big enemies. Okay, can't parry that. Is that all it does or is there more to it? Just let it spin again. The blood on its feet make it look like it's in high heels. That, that's all. It, it just looks like a set of legs in high heels with bird wings. That's that's all I'm seeing. 
City of the Blessed Name. I talk to either of you? Nope. Oh, this is definitely in a skill for later. Now, what one concern I have as soon as I touch this ladder, in the first game, the ladders I felt were the scariest thing to platform on. It just felt so hard to jump between them and jump off them. Hopefully they polished it. I like the edge grab. But uh, I just remember ladders being really annoying. Oh, how did I do that? Okay, you hold X to go down faster. That's cool. Okay, can I go in? Yep. Get all the lore I can find. Not only lore, but people that probably like, if you don't talk to them enough, you lose out on an upgrade probably. Welcome to my most humble of workshops, which is a flurry of sawdust, glue, and varnish. Montagnez is my name. Master sculptor. One of those who, with steady hand and silver chisel, patiently carve out from the wood the faithful shapes of our true saints, so that they might be contemplated and revered by the devout. No trace of light remains in my glassy eyes, yet still I know what thou seekest and needest. For are we not all penitents on this earth? In some way. Is needest an actual word? <laughs> the miracle proclaimed that, as my profession was that of a master sculptor, I should carve in wood the figure of the most blessed lady as my last work of art. Penitent one, I beg you help me in this, my final piece of work. Seek out for me the finest chisels and tools, the most wondrous of pigments, and the most delicate of varnishes. Find me I all the collectibles. For the figures that will fit into the altarpiece you carry on your back. Like this very one I offer to thee here. Please accept this as a gesture of my unending gratitude. Acquired the traitor. It is but the first piece of many more I shall carve for you. Now I shall place it upon the altarpiece upon your back, and you will feel its grace, but also its burden. Is there an altar on my back? The hands of the miracle will guide me in the carving in accordance with the memory you bring me. May they guide thee as they guide me, penitent one. Oh, uh, visit the Cultural Reward Shop whenever you want to equip figures in your altarpiece of favors. Each figure confers powerful benefits onto the penitent one. You can react in mysterious ways. Wait, and can react in mysterious ways when placed next to others in the altarpiece. Okay, I uh, increase the number of slots in your altarpiece in favors exchange. Open. Where's the one you gave me? There it is. Uh, okay, just 10 plus. You get this as your first item? Okay. And over tool, do I have any? Okay. I don't know why even you give me the, why give me the option if I don't have them? May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. I thought, wait, he gave me the traitor. Uh, I guess that's the statue. I thought he was giving me like clothing. That's the way I interpreted some of the stuff he was saying. He wants like every collectible imaginable. Now I know we're gonna f probably find a church and we have to give all the money to the church. This heavy curtain that separates sin and confession. Crime and judgment conceals naught but shadows. Here, in my darkness, there remaineth but tears for me and forgiveness for those of you who seeketh it. 
Where are the bereaved now? Where are the repentant? How long since the long agony of this sacrament began? Now that your penance of silence and the pain that plagues your flesh has led you to my dark confessional, let me purge the guilt you bear and thus alleviate your burden. Penitent one, return when the guilt scorches your brow. I will free you from your burden, for that is my purpose. I couldn't hear him. So, like, his voice is so quiet, I didn't want Penitent to, like, talk one, over it. Return when the guy will... Hey, it says the same thing. Can you attack anyone? No. Nope. Now, in the first game, to get, like, the true ending and stuff, you had to destroy all those statues and complete the challenges. I don't know if that, if that relates to that guy. Something screaming. Uh, press share to open the map. It should just be the touchpad. Remember to place markers whenever you find something interesting. Can I change it to the touchpad, actually? No, the, the touchpad isn't even an option. Actually, wait, go back. Okay, it says the map is the touchscreen, but I can't do it. I have to press share. That stinks. Yeah, okay, I'm touching the touch screen. Nothing's happening. Away we go! Refundo Lamento. It's a one-way trip for now. Oh, here's how we climb back up. Okay, he's throwing rocks at me. Perry! Uh, I don't think the Perry's gonna do much to him. Does he have two attacks, maybe? No, it's just dead. Okay. Urn? They're just vases with wings right now. With like a third wing coming out of its top? Or is that... No, it's just goop coming out of it. Okay. I'm already dealing 10% more damage. It's a good start. We're definitely going to get the climbing ability here. The parries! Oops, okay. Did that too late. Now, I do remember there were, like, execution moves. Like, get an enemy too low, and then you can just watch a cinematic of them dying. Oh! There it is! There's one execution. Some attacks can leave your enemies stunned. When this happens, press L2 to execute stunned enemies. Defeating enemy on this way grants you a fervor, tears, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So they still got it. I spoke too soon. No, you can't parry that. Okay. My first thought that if you hit it, you landed the block, it would just send it back to him or something. I thought that's what the ability was going to do. Oh, okay. This is the exit. So far, it just feel it feels like blasphemous. That that's good. There's no like crazy mechanics yet. I got my executions. That's what I wanted. Ah, uh, this is the way I came. Oh, oh, I thought those were all spikes. I think if you break the back. Yep, there it is. Just blows them up, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll check based on like the row. I'll go row by row for the the dungeons. One cherub. Okay, this means nothing to me for right now, I guess. Oh right, I forgot I have a spell. I should be using that. I don't remember if I could cling to wall cling to ledges in the first game. Is that a dummy? Heads up. The pe oh, it breaks the parry. Ow. Ow. Use the magic. Magic didn't come out. One hit. Ugh. Tag and execute enemies allows you to earn marks of murder, uh, which can be used to upgrade certain characteristics of the pendant one. You can earn marks by fighting, exploring. You have earned one. Who are you? Whose face and name you keep hidden? Oh, I have to click, right? No. Your name is of no consequence if your footsteps have led you to me. Yerma is mine own. But this is not the right moment. For the steps that my promise inspires are swift, and the will that directs them unshakable. This hatred, which blinds my reason with shadows. I must leave at once. Steely Battle Lance. Ah, uh, you now have access to the weapon me memory section in your inventory. Use marks to acquire advanced combat techniques. Track down the bear penitents to unlock techniques that are even more powerful. So, is that a new weapon? Liver violent and countless enemies. Strength resides in the... Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, pressing R1 at the last moment unleashes death saying slash. That's just a parry thing. Square with the gauge full to activate blood pack. and powers all hits from elbow with additional hits. I have two. Crimson Ascension. Oh, I remember that move. Uh, I'm not going to use them yet. Right now, still get a feel for the game. Oh, I thought I could jump over. I got a different item. It's probably the ability to climb. Ivy of Ascension. Some service can be used to climb. Hold R2 to cling. Uh, R2 is the same to, to slide. Oh, wait. Can you just cling forever? Oh, you can. Okay. And then you just kind of slide down them? Like, how can I... Can I do that to any wall? Oh, no. Okay. So you can only slide down metal. Scratch lead sphere. Put bows in your inventory to upgrade characteristics. Increase the number. Can I climb? No, okay. You can't just climb. It looks... He's posed like Spider-Man. It just makes me look like he's going to climb up. Like that one little... That bit of the animation where he's got both hands on the wall. So we get the ability, but we don't need it immediately. Uh, is that other guy gonna respawn? Nope. Yeah, I guess I need double jump or some kind of flight. Let's like check the map. So I'll put a chest here. I have to go up and to the right or up to the left. But I think I've already went the wrong way. Yeah, there's another path I have to take. Oh. Sleep, 
my child sleep. That's it. No answer. Can't climb or anything. Can I hit it? Nope. No answer again. Okay, good to go. I guess check that bead. Resistance all physical damage. So my first upgrade's already 10% increase in offense and like a bit of defense. Let's hope for something a little more unique. Can I cling to this? Nope, okay. Makes a very nice impact noise though. Oh yeah, and the enemies respawn when you pray. Hey, where's the execute? I killed his back! Okay, yeah, you can just go one way. Can I just... Oh, okay, can't even touch it. Oh, it didn't come out. Oh, you don't need to break its back. Okay, just do it. Yeah, I played the first one. 100% it did the DLC. I've done all that stuff. Actually, am I going the right way? Yeah. Like, I think I played it two years ago. 100%, like, I think it was two years. Whenever the DLC came out, I short, like, I finished the game shortly before the DLC came out. Oh, he got me. So it was the perfect timing, so I could just go right to the DLC. Yeah, no, it was on YouTube. I was doing mainly just Twitch at that point. Ah, oh, crap. Am I going... We're still going to... I'll go left first. Another giant elevator in the game. Fired Miribus of so the return to port. Is that what? Well, oh, it's ability. Uh, take the dependent one back to the city. Oh, it's a spell. Okay, let's just go back. Oh, the grind. Like, I wasn't a fan of the grind by the end when I played it. I just, it felt very unpolished of a game. Like, even for, through the first playthrough, I was very annoyed by it. But the Twitch, I haven't been on, I haven't streamed on Twitch in a while. I just kind of, like, switched to YouTube. Like, it's 100% YouTube right now. Forgotten Tribute. Like, I'll play Grind 2. I just hope they polish it. Okay, just go back. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it just felt like it's not polished. It's a little janky, but it's little things like you pick up an item. The item is just kind of it. They're not linked on the right layer. I don't know how to describe it, but just items are disconnected from everything. Like you pick up an item. It's just floating in the air. You're not actually like he's not actually holding it kind of thing. Some other games do it, but it just felt like Grimes made it a lot more noticeable than others. Oh, Rivero, thanks for the sub. I'm going right. Oh, wrong button. It's a trap! Get out of the court, get out of the middle. Oh, the, uh, Busy, thanks for the sub. 
Oh, it just sits on the wall. Oh, crap. What did I pick up? Oh, there it goes. Empty receptacle. Okay. Okay, I can now climb, but I feel like there's way more to do down there. Probably... I know there's already metal over here I can climb. I'm gonna go right. Is Do I have anything for him? I feel like I've already done enough for one item. Oh, oh, and I, I don't know if I like that it just icons, puts an icon beside it. Just make it light up. Like, why give me the option if I don't have anything? This mallet is so wonderfully balanced in the hand that it feels quite effortless to move. Know that you have my gratitude, penitent one. May the hands of the miracle guide. Okay, says so the same. So so far, I feel this sculptor's like sprite is so well designed. I don't know why. It just looks really detailed. But I'm hoping his left arm, based on the coloring, his left arm is made of like rock or granite. It just looks like it, it doesn't look human. That is not flesh. I'm hoping he works with like a robot, not a robot arm, just a rock arm. Okay, I can climb over there now. I know I can climb the village, but I'm just gonna take the main path for now. I say main path. I don't know where I'm going, but <laughs> that's an exit. Oh, a door. I thought we were breaking through the wall. Oh, what does she want? Sec. First talk to her. Open up the skin and red flesh. Uncover the lie that my shell conceals. For I am only blood and bones. So allow the chalices to be filled with those who toast kings and priests. Wish to give, yes. Now I shall grant thee a new flask. By one, okay. Bring me more vials. Bring me chalices and vials. What about this one? Uh, yes? What did that do? <laughs> what did it do? Bring me Bring me I brought you blood, is that not enough? Can I get my blood back? Nope, okay. There's going to be a secret behind her or something. Because this one little exit. Unless we're further down the road, it's something. Yeah, no, it's something behind her. We got a lot of upgrades already. My first thought was Happy Mask Salesman for some reason. Oh, blessed are we, for I behold a penitent. Humbly allow us to present ourselves to your reverence. We are Medardo and Escolastico, pilgrim merchants and scribes by trade. You never know where precious assets may be. What prey can be unjust or malevolent in walking the roads in pursuit of a twofold profit? That of the pocket by selling, and that of the spirit by prayer. While Medardo pays penance in his meditative meanderings, I take care of the business side of things, sparing not a drop of ink to write about the beautiful landscapes of the many varied paths we travel. But go ahead and cast your eyes upon our shop window. The objects that were lost on voyages have great appeal and fascination as they have become a reminder of the feat itself. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. Where's your shop? You're a guy carrying another guy. <laughs> uh, I can afford 
either one when using prayers. It's a bowl of electricity that electrifies. I don't need anything right Is now. Nothing of interest to you. What a pity. So far, the sculptor and this shop, they're both really w well designed sprites. I know the whole game, like that's this whole game selling point, but just the design of these two are really, these three, I guess, are really good. Can't go in there yet. My first, I did not notice there was two guys when I came over. I thought it was just guy holding a bunch of items on his back. This doesn't do anything yet. I guess hitting this is gonna make platforms appear. I think I'm going too far. I feel like I should go back to the village and check things. Oh, new enemies. Gotta learn how to parry them. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, there's not... There better be unique animations for executions later. I've had two executions and there's the exact same animation. I'm really hoping they didn't like tone down the gore and violence for those. And it's not just like wrap him in tree branches and now he's gone. I might be speaking too soon, but so far I'm a little worried. Execute. Okay. It's a shame. I'm really hoping there's more. I feel like later we're going to raise these. Based on what we did in the first game. made it it's a little guy little guy with daggers yeah it's this the three executions they're all the same I'm really worried now uh, I'll start with the right I should have just jumped I should see if I, you probably can't parry the giant axe coming down on you. Oh, way too early. So far, this song is the best in the game. From the hour I've played so far. Have I played for now? I don't even know. My secondary monitor is kind of a mess of stuff on the screen right now, so I can't tell easily. Drink up. Drink up, smear it, I don't know. Yeah, it's this... I'm... I'm very annoyed that they went the route with just one execute animation. Or maybe it's the weapon. Maybe the weapon determines the execution. Oh! They're bleeding, but I don't think they break. Okay. First secret! It's kind of obvious, but secret nonetheless. Little guy! He's got knives! They're like flea men from Castlevania! Except, better equipped! Ooh! Oh, they both died, okay. I don't know if I killed one or if it just counts kills executes if they're nearby.
What hit me there? He parried when he's coming down? That's the first real secret. That was a real one. Wait. What did I hit there? It collided with something. So far, I'm more impressed with the NPCs than I am with the enemies. What? What did it collide with? This? Yeah, that's a real collision. I hit something over here, though. How far have I gone this way? Whoa! Okay. A little too far. The first big guy. Okay. A little bit of poison. Uh, smear on my face. Not there. Okay, you can't dash through him. For some reason, I thought you could do that. Better execute. There we go. Real executes. So if it's only for big guys, I guess that's okay. If little guys all use the same, no. Even little guys all, all had their own executions before. Open up. The penetrant one's here. If it's unique animations for only big guys, good. But it's a little bit of a downgrade compared to what they did in the first game. Little guy's on the roof again. What am I colliding with? Oh, it's... You can attack the candles. Castlevania style, but you don't get anything. He's got Beyblades! Okay, pray. It's a mummy bird! And one- oh, okay, one shot. Okay, I guess we get something later. Some kind of laser. Oh, it's a little guy. Another little guy! For some reason, I thought you can block in the air. These guys are from the first game. Ow. Parries! And lots of them. There we go. Power, how's it going? You made it in time for the start of a Metroid. Vania, not Metroid. <laughs> this ain't Metroid. Oh, no parry. No parry. Okay, heal up. I'm doing okay. Some For some reason, I woke up today at like 9 in the morning. So I was like, I might as well start the day. Don't go back to sleep. Had some breakfast. Took care of some chores. I'm good to just play games for a while now. Another little guy! Luckily, they're not as annoying as uh, flea men. Wait, can you attack the Beyblade? Okay, two hits. Oh, okay. The environment's trying to kill me now.
You just woke up? Okay, it's only, well, it's 12.30 here. I don't know what time it is for you. Oh, jeez. Take the secret path first. Heal up. The parries! Okay, yeah, probably get a laser later for that one. But yeah, I finished Hi-Fi Rush last night, started this today. Probably the next game of focus until 100% completion. Oh, I get the blades! New weapon. And Centella. Uh, Simeon and Centella are the fastest weapons in your arsenal, forged with the intention of being wielded by experts from the school of the Vendetta Distress. I don't know how to pronounce that stuff. Whose swift and accurate thrusts blend with their defensive mastery, adherence to the tech teachings of the school, can transport the wheel to ecstasy, empowering their thrusts. Uh, R2 plus square. Sacred thrust. Arsenal's increase. Tap L1 to change. How did I? You have to be in the animation? Yeah, okay. That's weird. I'm going back to just normal sword for now. You're, you're gonna have to be a little more specific than just Donkey Kong. I've played many Donkey Kong. <laughs> like, do you just mean the original or like a specific one lately? Oh! There's no tutorial about me turning into energy. Okay, gotta go up. Are we gonna fight whoever's turning people into mummy? Where am I? Oh, I'm at the bottom, okay. How was I supposed to know the blades turn you into energy? <laughs> The original? Yeah, I played the original. Okay, here we go. That's cool. So you can't play the whole game with just one weapon. It's a trap! It's little guys! That one didn't even get a chance to touch the ground. I have no healing for this either. She's got Beyblades! Uh oh. I have no health. There we go. Here, pick up a cup. I got no cupcakes! And so, yeah, solo, like. Where, how do you play Donkey Kong multiplayer? I need a healing location. I don't even know what I picked up. What, what was it? Paper. Okay. No, we got no cupcakes, unfortunately. I got no brownies either. Like that one time. I have brownie mix, but I don't think I got the stuff I need to make them. What is that? Okay, I need... How was I supposed to know? <laughs> this comes flying at me. Ah, uh, guilt fragment rains anchor to the world. The level of guilt rises, reducing the power of fervor. Defiance by increasing the tones of torment. Wait, what? Let guilt friends to partially recover or find someone who can ease your burden. Do something in your defense, but increases tears and murder points. Okay. How punished can I get, though? Like, can I make it so I'm just making tons of cash? Where am I? I have to go all the way up. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, Perry didn't come out. I do need to execute something holding the other weapon just to see if I get a new ability or a new execution. Oh, oh, there's a unique one. It's enemy specific, but I guess there's going to be a majority of them are just tree, ban tree, tree branch death. She's got the Beyblades. No, Power, what are you saying about solo Donkey Kong? Oh, I guess the room just gets replaced after you finish the challenge. Why did I collect one from her? Oh, probably because they're unique in a sense they weren't there before. Like it takes one. I know, I know what solo means, but I'm asking, what do you, what do you mean if I play Donkey Kong solo? Because I'm pretty sure the original had two player, but you still play it by yourself. Okay, pick up this. And then get out of there. Oh, do I want to go in the hands? Oh man, now where'd I wind up? Oh, okay, back in town. Find sisters. Is it a demon nun? That's clearly something evil. It's like one giant red eyeball, none. Oh, platform up there. Can't take it yet. For some reason, I'm worried about fall damage in this. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm back in town. There's a few things I wanted to check anyways here. Oh! Something new. This is why I have to keep coming back to the village. Come closer and contemplate this delicate tumbaga. The embroidered shawls. The silk dresses. You are in Rahima's shop. My goods are my home. My bed. They are as much a part of me as I am of them. So you're a hoarder, that's what you mean. You point, and this diligent arm will surely grant your request. After execute this, I do like this one. Increase the window of time to form a block. Reduces penalties for accumulation of guilt. Everyone attacking enemies. This one's temp. I'm not using them enough, but I know once I'm comfy with the game, I'm going to be spamming this. Oh, she's got more. So increases Morgan points earned, increases resistance to mystical damage. How much stuff you got? Oh, there's a scroll bar. Okay, I didn't even notice it. And that's how unique these marks are that you can buy them from shops. Uh, works health after an execution. Oh, these are statues. Okay. Uh, I'm going to buy this one just for the chance that it's going to combine with the other statue. Just completely based on them both being offensive. Damage of prayers, increase of... No, this one. This is a better one for our combining. Here among my wares, I shall await your return. Okay, so go to the statue. Oh, 
Oh, you have to be in the shot. You have to be at the guy. Okay. Oh, uh, what do we got? So I got these. I don't want to upgrade anything yet. I can already upgrade this uh, blades as well. Ish barrage of thrusts. Locks the first indicator. Hitting enemies with the increases your verdaderator. Verdaderator? Uh, adding lightning damage to your attacks. Getting hit depletes your indicators. Use a cross guard at the last moment to counterattack with a lightning quick thrust. They'll pierce through all enemies ahead of you. Alrighty, this weapon's sounding better than the first one. Unless some, I get stuff later, of course, but... I got a coin. I have no slots for beads, though. Chance. I don't need any of this. What's a quick verse? Blessed are we. Feast your eye. You have anything I want now? No. Creates a bowl of electricity that inflicts lightning damage. No, that's all. Is there no what a pit? Yeah, already the, I'm already feeling a lot more lost than the first game. Because the first game was just kind of, there's the door, go open it kind of thing. I could go back down and see what I can find down there. Actually, no, this is all just wall blocked off anyways. I don't think I even need to go here. Yeah. There's no church so far where you have to give your cash to to upgrade. So far, it could change. Okay, he does move the left arm. He's already started on the statue. The wood is taking shape. Okay, that's wood. Okay. I sense how its veins that was marble. a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers. That yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins. Open altar. Slap on a new one. Okay, they don't combine. Increase capacity? Oh, that's expensive! The altarpiece on your back now has more capacity. Here, I will wait for you until you gather more marks of martyrdom to extend your altarpiece. I didn't know it was going to use a mark. I thought it was just going to be cash. Hands of the miracle guide. Okay, those things are going to be too rare. I can't just throw them around. Check other paths that I've found. Can I make that jump? Nope. Something over there, though. Oh, there's a chair. Oh, wait. We have the technology to mark it on the map. There we go. Any game that doesn't have uh, pins to use on a map, it's just it's just wasting everyone's time. Every game should, every game with a map should have that feature. Oh, I remember these guys. The guys on the floor, not the guys in the sky. The guys in the sky are new. Okay, you can break the fireball. Hey, turn around! I was talking to you! Get back here. Yeah, they're pretty much the same as the first game. Okay, door I can't get through. Dealing with a lot of rock guys here. The parries! I'm feeling like the parries are a little easier than the first game. And for some reason I have a... I keep fearing fall damage in this game. Okay, no point with the bell. 
Were spikes instant death in the first game? I don't remember. Yes, they were. Because I was always afraid of ladders and spikes. His ladders in the first game were very annoying. Hey, I was talking to you. Come back! Okay, one cherub. I don't know if there's spikes down there. Yep, it's all spikes. The parries! I definitely need to boost the strength though, they take forever to die. Turn around when I'm talking to you. I don't know, I just feel like I'm... The normal enemies are a little easier than the first game. Do you move their back? Do they become faster or anything? No. Just burn them to death. I gotta use this fervor before it disappears forever. Actually, there's one thing I want to test with the fervor, but I need to wait till I get to like... I need to wait till I die to test something. Is there, they might still have a little uh, cheese tactic with fervor that you can do when you're dead. Oh, I was worried about spikes. Oh, you can't change weapon mid combo. I can attack upwards now. I'm just kind of like, I just feel, how big is the map already? Okay, the map's gonna keep going this way probably. Or we get transported somewhere, oh it goes up, okay. Right, we have to climb up to the castle, okay. So this game's gonna be a lot more vertical. Unless there's a whole world over here, but... Yeah, so far I'm, what, like an hour and a half in, I haven't finished a whole area yet. It's better than the first game. Because they did want it, they said they wanted to make it a lot more Metroidvania. Big guy! Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> I don't take damage. Oh, that time I did. I feel like you could go through enemies before, though. So far, that's the best execution in the game. So far. I didn't get a mark for that one. There are the high choirs. I'm assuming you're looking for all your chair friends. Penitent one of merciful steps. My golden mask weeps to see you before me. Are in the garden of high choirs. I am another of the holy brothers of the golden visage, born of the miracle. Oh, tireless time that travels without delay and erases the past. Conjuring up uncertain futures, make us remember when the miracle imposed its dark punishment upon us. That which prevented us from soaring and traveling with the breath of the wind Penitent one, free my brothers who, by the designs of a miracle that already seems a stranger to us, are imprisoned and scattered throughout these lands under the gaze of the great heart that has risen on high. Only they will allow you to climb to the highest point. Wasn't this voice in the first game? Like in the room that had the cherubs? Oh, okay. Help us by freeing more brothers, and we shall reveal to you what the tower holds at its highest point. 
One bead. That's what's gonna be at the top. One collectible. Or some souped up ability. But I'm not, I'm just expecting a collectible at the top. What happens if I fall? Okay. Oh, it's just an enemy. Okay. Pray again. Oh, I tried to block in the sky. Ooh. Heal up. All the parries. I don't know which way I want to go first. At this point, I'm just kind of doing exploration. I got no plans right now. Find what upgrades I can, then commit to something. Or look for up, like, movement abilities. I'm not going that way. Come on, stop. Just grab the ledge. Or the wall, I guess. <laughs> stop grabbing it. Okay. It's all spikes. Can't go that way yet. Okay. That's instant death. So there's something. I need some kind of dash ability. And here we're gonna get, probably, see the goo. See the floating platforms. Or not. Oh, you can, oh, I didn't know you could do this. Can you grab that little ledge? No. Oh, I remember these guys. These guys took forever to kill. Okay, I remember them. They work the exact same. Unless their helmets break in this game and they become a new enemy. Ooh, ooh, that one's nice. And it uses the tree branches still too. I don't think you could execute them in the first game. Ooh, just in time. Okay, now where are we going? Sacred attunements. Oh, jeez. Something's in the ground! The rock hand. Keep climbing. See what I get. Keep going one direction for now. Probably open these later. Oh, jeez. Didn't think that would happen. I thought it only comes out once you're in the sand. Can we get her past it? There's two of them! You do not want to get trapped between- Oh, okay. Heal up. See how- I want to understand how to fight these. Parry them, probably. Little guy's gotta die first. Okay. I want to see if you can parry it. Eh, yeah, nothing happens. Okay. Why one mark? So you get them, I guess, on killing enough of one enemy type, maybe? I've killed three of them and I got one. That's my guess. Or it might just be RNG drops. Oh, another one? Can you tag them underground? It looked like I could there.
It seems to be the max of two. Per sand dune. Music in this already is really good compared to the first. Oh, what's this? It's a guy trapped in a vial. This is definitely a path too. Okay. Uh, let's mark this. I will put it as a little person for now. If we can talk to the guy inside, maybe. And we already have all three weapons. Okay. I thought these would be like hours later. New weapon. Very dicto. Very dicto. This is the most powerful weapon in your arsenal. It's long reach, wide arc, and devastating strength. Increase the chance of stunning your enemies. In addition, its attacks will generate additional fervor with each strike and be empowered by the flame. Hold down square and activate. Oh, right, that attack. I forgot. I'm so far, I'm enjoying just the default. Well, I say default, you can choose whichever, but the weapon that you had in the first game. Do I have to use it? Yep, okay. And the guy inside is now suffocated? Oh! That is not what I thought was gonna happen with the sand. Now this path opens up, I take it? Okay, it keeps coming down. Okay, we can take him off the map now. Are we gonna see some arms just flailing because they're out of water, basically? No. Do I have to, oh. Okay. I see how it is. Okay. So mace is to, oh, wait, if I had the mace first, could I not move some areas sooner then? Yeah, I would, because the area with the uh, mirrors, I could have been bouncing through sooner. So, so far the sword gives you no benefit, basically. <laughs> Uh, it's, I'm taking the long way down. Oh, no. For some, I just keep thinking there's fall damage. I don't know why. I haven't played a game with fall damage in a while. Now that I think about it. That didn't do nothing. Oh, yes, it did. Okay. Do it again. There we go. That is not what I thought would happen with those doors. I thought they'd just go up, not turn into liquid. Look out! Some kind of... Grim Reaper? I remember those from the first game. You can still parry them. Why did I think I could parry in this sky? Oh, they just explode, okay. Okay, one shot, they're dead. Blast probably kills you. Okay, switch to this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Just add a little bit of sand. Just a tiny capsule. I do like the music in this area, but so far for the, my favorite song, it is this one that plays in the grills and ruin. This one's a second right now. Oh, okay, add a little sand. I gotta fight my way up. Oh yeah, this is a fight room. Elevator fight room. Something's gonna come from the sand eventually. 
I expected the arms first before the little landmine guys. Oh, he still got me. Okay, heal up. Okay, I can just stand there attack up. Okay, that works. Oh, jeez! Heal up again. One more guy in the la landmine guy. One more Grim Reaper. Nope. Okay, add a lot of sand. Or, no, that's remove sand. Little capsules add. Big capsules remove. Wow, that sand left fast. I don't think I'm gonna go back this way. Was there anything I could have missed? No, that's a one-way trip. Oh, this is the most effective way to deal with those guys. I don't think there's gonna be weaknesses like Mace breaks rock any any stronger. Oh, if it hits twice though, that's where the real damage is. Yeah, okay, new area. Oh. Where are you gonna take me? Okay, it's just a legit warp now. Okay. Okay, I don't need to use it. Stick to this area. Might as well get to this first checkpoint. Or this first icon, it's right there. If it's the first boss, like if it's the first boss, I'll maybe... Actually, how long have I been playing this for? It's only an hour and a half, holy crap. Felt like days of playing already. At the rate, like one boss by two hours maybe, and then uh, second boss by the third hour. And then call it quits there for the day, maybe. Oh, we have to run. Oh, no, we don't. I thought we had to get down here before the vibration made it. I can make cash killing these guys. It's so fast to kill with this. As long as you get that second hit. Get the second hit, you probably killed something. Or it's gasping for air all over. Oh, jeez! Yeah, it's that second hit that matters. I don't know if I want to go this way. Before I go to the checkpoint, or the marker, what's this guy do? Okay, he just blows up. I was hoping for like a unique animation if I kill him. But if he's just gonna blow up. It's a hand! Hmm, they already had some HP missing. I was wondering if I could one-shot it. Oh! Oh, uh, that's just to trigger something. Probably lower the plat. Oh, that door! I thought we were lowering this platform over here. Make it! Whoo, okay. Where are we going? Get that second hit. Oh no! Never attack on the ground with this. Just always doing the air. There's no recovery, basically. Okay, pray for some health. Keep going. Oh, okay. That's a one-way trip if I fall down there. No guys in the sand here. Oh, it's a trap. Fight our way out. 
Or do we have to beat the sand somewhere? Yeah, I gotta run. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Sand's coming! Oh, I have to wait anyways? Something's gonna come from the ground and blow up. Yeah, I expect that to be longer and a lot more threats. Where's this taking me? Where am I? Uh, I want to go. I have to keep going down. That's for sure. Oh, geez. Ah. Just fall all the way down here. Oh, I was hoping for not hitting anything on the way down. Gonna check right. Okay, I'm just making sure I can see the ground before I drop. I don't wanna die to random spikes. Uh, hey, it's right below us here. Uh oh. Get that double hit. Ugh. Actually, I could have turned on the flames and killed them faster, maybe. Not waste my mana like that. I'm not doing 100% exploration right now either. Right now it's just kind of like, see where it takes me to feel like what I feel like doing. There's a healing spot right here. Like I know when I first played Blasphemous 1, like I had a root. I knew what I wanted to grab soon early. But so far, I feel like I would want to kill him. I feel like I'd want to always grab this, the uh, the daggers first. What about flaming? Nope, okay. Something else. I'd want to start with daggers, go straight to that area and use the mirrors to bounce around to get a few upgrades. Oh, there she is again. Don't talk to her yet, though. Could be a trap. It's in the next room. I don't want to do that yet. First, just check the rest of this area. No, stop grabbing it. One item, please. What is in the sand? Oh, it's an arm. I've never seen the arm, like, on the same level as my feet, so I was worried it was something new. Hornet Chalice. I think I know who that belongs to. I can talk to her now. Here our wills cross once again. Oh, nameless, penitent one. His name's John. <laughs> time now. My life has been naught but a constant struggle to fulfill a promise as old as these lands. Is it your wish to meet her? Yes? 
When I was but a girl, I was able to escape the horror of the deformity engendered by the miracle. A miracle that chose the clean reflection of the still waters of a lake to reveal the truth it held in store for each of those who gazed within it. The old bell, which had fallen to the bottom of the lake many years before, began to ring, making the waters ripple to its eerie chime. Our reflected faces began to distort before our terrified gazes, and the miracle ended up capturing that work, that disfigured horror on the waters, as if it were a fresco, making everything that had been reflected in them disappear. As I fled, I turned my gaze towards the lake and beheld that ghastly event from afar. Penitent one, can you not hear it? We find ourselves in the confines of one of the ill-fated forms of the miracle that yearns to meet thee. Do you wish me to join you in your next confrontation? Uh, I, she's similar to the girl in the first game, where you more the more you use her, the more punished they get, the less you can use them late. You can't use them too long into the game. And they usually, well, the first girl died if you used her too much. So I probably won't use this one in this playthrough. I shall continue my search until our next meeting, Penitent One. Because the first game, she would get older every time you used her, and then she eventually just dies. I probably want to check what's over here. Yeah, I have to go all the way up. This is similar, this whole, like, giant column reminds me of the sewers in the first game, too. Look at- aww. Get that second hit, the sweet spot. I barely checked this room. Something's up here. Oh, it connects up there. Okay. Uh... Kind of already forget what's in there. It's all spikes here, though. He's not even looking at me. He's already exploding. It's all dead ends. Okay, if I go up, I don't remember if you can go down there, but that would probably connect up here. I have to go all up that. That's... This is where the sand room was. I think I'm just gonna go down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jeez! I think I need to bring down those, uh, cages, and they can be step stools to slide into those little, uh, paths. Hit the chains, maybe. That's my guess. There we go. First I need to get him out. Oh! Or... Hey, wake up! I'm attacking you! I need to get to that chain. Or wait! There we go, make another path. Much better. Oh, can we push it? No. I need up there. How do I get up there?
put a question mark here. Nope, wait. Remove that. Put a question mark. I'm gonna... I don't know what this red thing is. It looks like a jewel. To me, I'm tempted to use it as like roadblock. Like something I couldn't do. It's just a red square. I'm, I'm gonna use it as a roadblock. One mark. That's all you get. No secret paths, nothing. It's gonna blow. Another mark. Okay, I guess I'll just head back. On the other side. Yeah, there's definitely some path I can't get to. Unless I go up and try again. I can check over here. I don't want to do the boss yet. I just want to explore. In case there's like a health upgrade before I go in there. If I can ring the bell, I get the chest. I don't think it's gonna be a health upgrade, though. Am I gonna die? Nope! Okay. Oh! Almost. Almost died! Oh! Execute! This one's pretty cool. I don't think it's the coolest one, though, but it's, it still looks nice. Go, go, go! Made it! Broken bell! Whatever that does. Uh... I don't know what that is. I don't even know if I can touch it. Okay, something else. Okay, put, put another roadblock there. Actually, I'm in the wrong room. Right here. I guess I can fight the boss now. Or... Where's the tell- I can go up here! That's pretty far up, though. Go- take this back to town, get the upgrades I can get, and then come back with a little bit more. Because I'm thinking probably at least one slot for beads, as well as, uh, oh, it's... This is mystical damage, tears of atonement, resistance to physical. I can probably get another chalice, too, if I give that to her. Uh, and just leave, well, I can use these now. I don't know, I have options, but I just don't feel like using any of them right now. I just want to explore. Billowing clouds of dust herald your arrival. And you know, all the sand moving around, too. These stones Oops. heard so many sins that they could do no more than succumb, shuddering before their guilty echoes. I'm not going to click anything because it definitely is talking on its own. Echoes that could not bear the seclusion that I imposed upon them and that escaped from me. Crawling along these walls, eroding them until their immaculate ashes buried us all. Penitent one, you will now reveal your sins, those that your tears can never atone for. Talks very slowly. I doubt it's the little skeleton that's the boss. Oh, it's on his back. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to cling to a wall eventually. I would like to get the others. Holy, that would instantly kill. 
Ow. Ooh. I don't even think I need to be up there. That I need to be up for. Yikes. I thought with the red, it meant like you can execute him or something. Probably just stay out of his range doing- that deals like no damage! It's glass on his back, but the red made me think it was an execute situation. That makes me look like you can parry it when he shimmers. He's got fire. Oh, he's the third fireball. Heads up! Ooh, made it. He's getting out of the dirt! Don't heal. Are you healing? Oh! I don't think you can destroy him. Uh, ugh, I didn't know what to do. Where is he getting the glass? I would like to heal, but I don't see a chance right now. Right now. No, that's... I don't know where the opening is. Yikes! Yeah, you have to jump. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. More glass. I can probably attack. Oh, it goes up the wall. Yeah, I made it. It always looks like it's gonna hit. Wait, why was there a red shimmer there? That definitely means more damage. It has to. Unless you does attacking the head deal more damage? More glass. There we go. That was a cool looking boss, at least. A little confused by like, why does he use glass when he's a skeleton? <laughs> a one mark. You don't get like two for killing a giant boss. I really, I also thought a lot of the blowing up skeletons are going to show up through the ground. Without how they're all in the background. Dreams of incense. Put back my sword just to be safe. Hello. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Radames. Spent my long life listening to the confessions of so many burdened hearts. Mike, I'm if if I'm understanding, I'm this guy is the boss before he, the miracle took hold of him. Even after death, 
I could still hear the echo of their mournful voices, begging to be heard again, pleading for confession. But their pain never managed to bring tears to my eyes. One of those echoes, those incessant voices, was the very voice of the miracle who commanded me to guard its sacred regret. I obeyed, and it was then that my tears did flow. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. The memory of him still hurts. It's story time. So it was that a humble married couple, torn apart by their inability to conceive a child, entrusted themselves in their utter desperation to the miracle. A miracle whose light seemed to have gone out in all our hearts. For having long ceased to bathe us in its benevolent radiance, we believed it extinct. Oh, that's it? The dying day already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. Oh, we have to click. Let the miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to where that terrible dream, from which one never wakes, awaits. Oh, we don't get to seal them wheel out? Oh, do they lower slightly? That was a pretty big drop. I was hoping we get to see his little wagon get wheeled away. Okay. So, three marks, opens a gate, go in, that's when we fight the five apostles, and then that's the end of the game. So we're in the first half. First, Penitent third, whatever. One, you have encountered one of the three regrets. The first part of the testimony of the birth has been revealed to you, and the eminent sculptor figure of the father has descended. Find the other two guardians. Okay. Anything to say else to say? Penitent one, the no, okay, she's done. Okay, so that's the first third of the first third of the first act done where are we going I still have there's still tons to explore in here but not for now something is whispering to me there you're a nun okay found one if they whisper that loudly I can find them no problem Okay, we're back here, but now all these I still can't interact with. What was I supposed to do? It's in my way. Where's a bell? Actually, can the mace break them when they're behind? Gotta check that. I can go that way, or I can go this way. Is this a... Oh, it's all new. Okay, it's still all new to me. Yeah, this is all new. I'll take the side path, thank you. Oh, it's a trap! It's a big guy! There's gotta be a better way of fighting him. Why did I do that? I have a system that works, just keep doing it. This might be more effective. Hmm. 
That was a lot of hits. Okay. Just the one guy. There's gotta be a better way of fighting them. That takes forever. Purified one. This goes back. I want to loop back around. If I can. Maybe been a one-way trip. I can't go this way until I get double jump. Come on, I gotta get back on that side, though. There's a whole path over there. Why did they cut me off like that? Unless I fall on this side. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Weren't there spikes around here? Oh, yeah, okay. There were. Oh, this doesn't even hit him. Come on, okay, I'm not dealing. Forget him. If he doesn't want to fight, forget it. Yikes. This guy doesn't have a choice. He's probably going to turn around, though. Okay, that's the exit. Just ca well, I can buy a bunch of stuff now, I guess. Oh, I didn't do that right. Okay. Make it! Oh, okay. Do it again. Ah, uh, pray. Watch you do it again. There. Oh, no, there's two. Okay. I thought we get through one and just close and we have to fight someone inside. That didn't touch me somehow. Oh. Oh. I didn't know we get to control it. I have to ring the bell and then get up here, I think. Oh no. Yeah, so do this. Then I have to ring the bell and come back up. There. One cherub. All that for one cherub. And we can't break these vines. I think I'm good. Oh no, there's another path? Oh, down there. Okay, that's later on. I'm not going to take the path yet. Just see what's down here. How it all connects. How come I can't take this? What? Oh, I wasn't using the daggers. Okay. One item. Immaculate Mother of Pearl gouge. It was it Mother of Pearl. Mother, yeah, it was Mother of Pearl, okay.
Keep exploring. Hits like a truck if you get those two hits off. Yeah, it's half health! Might just want to soup up this mace. I have no idea what that wrong. Can you go back, see what's there? I don't see anything. Uh. Okay. Garden of the High Wires. Can't go that way. Okay, that's the first third of it. <laughs> the other one I was very close to here, but you probably have to go all the way around and go back down. Yeah, you probably come back up, do this, then you come work your way back. I don't know if it's open, like, choose your adventure yet. Like, that may have been the first boss, regardless of my choices. One quiet, one cherub. Something up there. The woman's gone from this area. Gotta see what's changed in village. It's gonna change every time, probably. Pray. Yeah, what do you say to this? This gouge, as precise as it is delicate, is unquestionably the most suited to this noble wood. Know that you have my gratitude, penitent one. Oh, that's it? You're not gonna say anything? Uh, do I wanna buy... for seven? Oh, it's for two now. Okay. No mementos, that's fine. May the hands... Yeah, I thought we'd be relying on this guy a little more. Like, I thought it was going to revolve around these little statues. See what's in her shop? She's got the expensive stuff. You point. Uh, join this knot to string that hold the rosary beads. Well, I do have another slot for a statue, actually. Oh, wait, I have a third so statue. I should have went back. I need to go back and slap it on. Blessed I'll feast your eyes. And you still only have two items. Is then what a pity. Okay, go all the way back, see what the statue does, slap it on, and then try combinate com try mixing it with the other two just in case there's a perk. So far no health upgrades either. I feel the figure. Uh, oh, she did finish more of the statue. Increases fire damage. Increases the fur regenerated. Ooh, presets! I'm just seeing if there's any combinations. So far, nothing. Okay. Neither. Uh, 
Uh, where do I want to go? Go to her. Give her the chalice. Maybe she increases health. I don't know. It, the knots are for the prayer beads. I don't remember how you increase health in the first game. Oh! Okay. New cherub. Oh, this, this is still full, eh? They are peeling her flesh off, her skin off. Agree. Now I shall enhance the vital light within me. Oh, okay. That's how you increase max health. I shall wait for thee to bring me more chalices. And over chalice, and over. Okay. Bring me chalices and vials, and I shall fill them with mine own blood. Okay, by the end, she's just gonna be a skeleton? I didn't think giving her a chalice would mean more health. I thought it was gonna be like more potent uh, flasks. Uh, which way do I wanna go? I have this. I can do a little exploration. I have all the abilities now, for my weapons at least. Go back down, see if I can go in there. That one just had a gap. I couldn't make that gap. I can at least do this. Do a little exploration right now before we venture on to new areas again. I'm thinking by the time we get to the next boss, I'll probably call it quits after that. Probably three hours. I just felt like playing for... Th oh, this thing again. I just felt like playing for three hours at least. Oh, red is a crit. That's what it is. The parries. Okay, that's just him reacting to death. I thought he was trying to attack me. There's something over here. Oh, right, this. Okay, I can't do that. I know there's a wall I can break. Where's that wall? It's an exit. It probably connects to down here. Okay. Can't get up there yet. I'll check the first air again just in case I can make a platform now, but I think I've come all this way for nothing. all these guys. Oh, he got me. Because I think there was like one bell or something that I just couldn't hit before. Oh, I have to go pretty far back though. Oh, I can't even reach that. Crap, okay. Run all the way back. Unless there's a warp around, no. Because I remember in the first game, where you started, you kind of just circle back and wind up there again. For a lot of upgrades and like secret stuff to be had. That died fast. I go talk with the nuns, see what happens when you bring another nun to her. Oh, right, they can jump. Execute. And 
And then you get the ability to make platforms later with a, with a bead. I don't know why it's a bead. I feel like that should be an automatic passive that should always be on. And this is a path that I can't take, so I'll mark it with uh, a blue gem. I don't think there's any difference between a blue gem and a red gem that I'm doing. I just want to indicate wall right now, basically. <laughs> Where's the nun? There she is. If anything, these nuns are going to try and kill me by the, when I collect them all. I found you a sister. Do something. Fine. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna have to fight them. They look pretty evil. I can go up. Oh, that's more of a village. I'll see what's up here. Oh, one free item. Oh, cash. No one to talk to in the bed. Not behind the window. Okay. Eventually. We'll come back later and there's some sick child or person. Where is this going to take me? Ooh, do we get to fight stuff in this? I'm gonna heal up. Oh, we're going down. Get to see the whole village now. Okay. I'll go back to the craftsman now. See what other if I can make any combinations. That's all that's the only reason I'm doing this. Pray. How like the the perks? Great. I just want to see what the combinations are. To actually see what happens. So the stun power of your attacks. That's kinda good. Increases Verdicto's strength. Which one's Verdicto? I already forget. <laughs> the altarpiece on your here. I. Nope. Put that back. Okay. Uh, I don't remember which one's which for weapons. It's the mace. Okay. I'm okay with having an upgrade for that. Uh, press one to turn off your dick drone and consumption. Forever, this display of temperance can even be performed in the air. I feel like that should be a default thing. I shouldn't have to get an upgrade for that. Attack. After an attack on the ground, convert it to a powerful horizontal strike. Uh, what does it do? Oh, for an extra hit. Tierno, how's it going? Yeah, I've only been playing for two hours. Half the time required to charge. Uh, I'm, I want this one. Increases base defense. Maybe? I don't know. It's not the last moment Leash is never saying slash. Gauge full to activate blood pact. That one's two, though. Just do some basic upgrades for now, maybe. These are kind of expensive, actually, too. Uh, 
Cross guard the last moment to counterattack with lightning thrust. Last moment. Cross guard instantly adapt to blocking stance. Okay. Uh I'll just go with normal stuff. But yeah, I'm thinking like I'll play up to the next boss. I already took out the skeleton boss. I don't know its name, so I'll just let let you know, skeleton, you might know which one. But yeah, I took out the guy up here, now working my way back. Seeing what else I want to do. I'm thinking it'll just be like a three hour stream. See what I can get done in that three hours. But so far it just plays like uh it just it just feels like more blasphemous. That's in a good in a good sense. Oh, it stunned him. I've already been around. Oh, no, this is new. Okay. I thought I was down here. Are the little guys going to be here again? No. It's a trap! Ooh, nice. There, beautiful. Kind of jittery on the screen, though. Oh, now we have a lot of guys. Uh-oh. Drink up. Thousand tears? Oh, hard to parry. I don't know, I got a lot of parries just there. I just didn't like the uh, the camera jostling around with it. Yeah, I noticed that with the little guys. It was not working for me. I hate the vine execute. I saw some unique animations earlier, so I was worried that they were just the sa it was the same death animation for all the enemies now, but I was wrong, luckily. But yeah, I did notice that it kind of sucks against the little guys. Yeah, it's the vine one is boring. The less I see that one, the better. Oh, I can't even go that way. Oh no, I've seen other ones that he used the vine, like on the big muscle bell guys. And I was like, oh good, he used it differently. But it was just for the first, like, you, four, yeah, for the first four executes were all the vine on different enemies. I was like, oh no, they cut back on the unique, the, unique, the uniqueness of them. Well, there better be a lot more unique. I don't want like three more. Should be all unique. Yeah, I need to heal up. Oh. Nope. More vines. And for some reason, I have a... Like, I keep thinking there's fall damage in this for some reason. Yeah, I want to go back this way. Oh, that wasn't good. That's... It's a good chunk of damage. It's not like a one-shot kill, but... I didn't think it was going to be that much. Uh, I want to go... 
Look out, little guys. Uh, like even, like I played like base release version, like not like a, if there was a beta or early access version, I don't know. But it felt like there's just a lot more unique kills per enemy. Like even just those stone warriors walking by, you can like crush them with their coffins and stuff. The mace, oh no, there's some little guy up there. Was there demo? Okay. Oh, even with the mace, they take uh, three, three hits. Ow! No, that one took two. Okay. Secret, secret. It's a nun. The evil looking nuns. Uh, do I want to go this way? This is Choir of Thorns. This is a whole different area. No, go back. At least explore a full area before moving out. I'm just wondering if any boss is going to be cooler than the corpse that was being paraded around in the first game. I don't remember its name, but that was the coolest boss. Visually. Look out, little guys. Oh, I should have got behind the other one. Didn't know there was another coming. There we go. Oh, and a big guy? Ooh, that was a hit. Such a cool animation. Just the sound, like the impact is just so impressive. There's, oh, this is one of the best unique ones that I've found. Uh. Yeah, I do remember them saying, like, they admitted the first game wasn't that Metroidvania -y, and this one was gonna be a lot better. And I can already see it in the sense like I didn't finish one area completely and then never come back. It is a so far feeling better than the first. Yeah, they're all cool. I just visually and as imprint like reading up to that boss, I was like, oh, okay, it's just a corpse being flailed around. Great, but just. At first glance, I was like, that's a cool boss. And I'm just hoping for if anything will challenge it in this game. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to, oh, one shot. Okay, you're killing corpses that are plug hooked up to the matrix, basically. <laughs> Take three shots to kill, yeah. Oh, the crows are evil. Got it. Was that just like a skeleton in a... What is that? Corpse and thorns, I guess. I am going way off track now. Oh. Yeah, I just said that. Making your footsteps mute imitations of our own. Let not these black mists deceive your eyes, for you stand before the procession of shadows. Figure of the sinuous mists, pay us with the false coin. The one with jagged edges and forgotten features. The one that is worthless and desired by none. Thus, we will guide you through oh, the dense okay. darkness to the remotest of places. Ah, uh, sure. Now pray. Lie down on the cold stone and let the black 
dark curtain envelop you in darkness. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's this sketchy line right there. Yeah, when I first saw this, I thought it was like a horse that's been like encased in branches. And I didn't expect that to actually be a bed, but it's like a bed with a... It's more like a coffin, really, but okay. Figure of the sinuous mists. Oh, it's a one-way trip. Okay. Did not expect that. I thought it was just going to be back and forth. Ooh, not. Okay. Where am I now? What's the maps? Oh! I did not think I was going to wind up down here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, just a second. I have an idea. I don't think it's going to work. I think it's an upgrade. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. Okay. Ooh, what a crit. I thought we were going to go to a far off land. Ooh, he's blue. Ah, uh, okay. E. Okay, blue means lightning. Got it. Don't think I can parry that one, though. You can! Of course, lightning will get you. Can you dodge through? Okay. Yeah, the dodge confused me in this game, because I, I could have sworn you could dodge through enemies, like, get to the other side of enemies in the first game. Oh, we can. Okay. There we go. Oh, he rises. Didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, I just felt like even some, uh, like, most of the enemies I faced earlier in the game, it just felt like I couldn't dash through any of them. And I was like, I thought that was a thing. Like, through a big guy? Sure. But just something fell off when I started. This is all new. Oh, there are spikes. Okay. Where the heck am I? Oh, that's a whole other area. Mother of mothers. Whoa. Oh, these guys. Nostal oh, okay, yeah. I recognize this. I remember those guys. Oh, that means we gotta deal with those berserkers, maybe. Oh, another one? It's a fake! Okay, just leave him. I did not want to turn that on. Secrets! They made a statue of the one guy. The toe guy. I don't remember any of the names, of course. I remember I remember who they are. Actually, what skill did I unlock for this sword? I already forget. Last minute, yeah. I got pixels on me! Get the pixels off me!
That's closer to a flea man than the little guys, actually. So, so, cathedral's at the bottom, we're at the top. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I got tons of stuff to explore now. I gotta take out this guy. It looks like a marionette right now. It's just our- oh, it wow, it reached. Oh, that was terrible. So was that. <laughs> that works. Is left to rot? Okay. Get that double hit in. Get the pixels off me! Oh, okay. They finally hurt me. Oh, that's how they work. Okay. Wake up! We gotta fight. I'm not using my marks that much right now, but I just don't feel like throwing them around right now. I'm just kind of like testing the waters right now. I don't feel, I don't know what I feel like focusing on right now. I already feel like I'm going the wrong way. I, I thought they were limited based on, like, how they were coming, like, defeating a boss kind of thing. But then I would get one for randomly killing, like, one enemy. I'm like, uh... Especially with some of them being, like, 14,000 in the shop. I was like, oh, these are rare. But then some enemies would drop them. Like, normal-looking enemies. Uh... In the middle... If even we'll see. Oh, you check for the menu? Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, secrets. Suspicious. Oh, even the spin hits. Cool. Okay. That's for a quest. Okay. It's still suspicious. Doesn't break. Yikes. He gave a hundred? I was expecting a hundred off him. Oh, I know there's no wrong direction. I just... I just... I'm going... I focus on one thing. It's just like, nope, sidetracked. Hold their world. Keep going. Like, I'm not dead set on anything right now. Today was just like, start a new game. Have fun. And see where it takes me. Like, I'm gonna go for 100% completion, so I have to do all this anyways. This is where the giant bell was. If it's still around. I don't think it's still around. There it is, in the background. Oh, execute. Aw, oh, just that one. See, like that. I would get one like that. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. 
No, what are you talking about? This room was great in the first game. All the enemies just get sideswiped and all just blow up. It was a little, one of the satisfying things. I, okay, I actually wish I went left from this room. Instead of going this way, I wish I went left, saw this room, saw the enemies, and saw that in the background. I would have knew exactly where I was. I was like, oh! Like, seeing the little, like, priest on the chair, oh yeah, I remember that. But if I saw that in the background, I was like, oh, I know where I am. That would have been just a lot more impactful for the first glance, like, first reveal. Oh, I got no health. Drink up. Uh, do I want to go down? Yeah, there's stairs. Now, I don't think I got jump scared. Just the, the sound effect that you can hear in the distance. I was like, something's coming. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. Or I should have jumped. There we go. Slide! Can I make that jump? Oh, I know, but I just, as soon as I got to that ladder, I went right immediately. Okay. Ah, uh, just getting my bearings. Seeing what I feel like doing. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. Chime of the Twisted One. Folks, it goes to Bell, the Chime of Witch causes mystical damage. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel like I want that. Ah, oh, again, I'm gruesome anymore. It's not lost. It's green. Yeah. No, I just, it, it feels like Blasphemous still. I got no, I have no complaints. The only real annoyance I have with it is the lack of executions because it's always that vine, it's a lot of the vine thing now. I actually forgot how to evade there for a second. I was like, which button is it? Oh, didn't even parry that. Drink up. For some reason, I'm not even trying to parry it. Secret! That... That was obvious for a secret. Okay. Ladder's here. Nope, not going anywhere yet. I gotta go back and heal. And then just go down, I guess. Oh, jeez, where did you come from? I'll die if I fight you. I can just do my usual. Oh, no! Okay, I faced like three of those. Not a single one of them ever attacked. They all did the lightning. Okay, go back, get the, uh, go back and get my mana. Not that far back. Yikes! Oh, I parried way too soon! Oh yeah, you can't go down here. Yikes! Okay. I think I actually have to just learn how to fight these guys now. Just avoid it. I want my body back. My spirit. I 
There it is. Uh... Ow! Oh, it sent me back, okay. Not great. No, pick it up! <laughs> okay, then get out of there. Okay, uh, I have to go back in. I have to take that path. There. They just take a while to fight. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going down. Yeah, the plan probably is just make this my primary game until I've 100%ed it and see what game I want to look into starting afterwards. See what else I have on my backlog or if there's any Steam games I want lately. I don't think I've s oh crap. I don't think I've sat down with the uh, Steam sale to see if there's anything I've wanted. Yeah, I know what I have to do here. I'm not going to take it yet. First, just explore. Real damage and a secret. Lips of the Golden Mask. Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna find the oh, there's been a unique one. Yeah, I remember that one Like we're not gonna find the uh What was it called? Uh, I Can't remember what it's called I can't remember but we're not going to find the DLC for the Bloodstain game, are we? I say Bloodstain because I can't remember its full name. Symphony of the Night is the Castlevania one. I can't remember Ritual of the Night. We're not going to find the DLC for that here. Are we? Like, it was right... I remember it was, like, connected here, based on the cathedral. Yeah, go left. Now I'll take it. Ooh, dodge. How does that not count as a parry? Heal up. Oops. Beautiful. Execute even. I thought it was in the air. I didn't know I was staying on the platform. Oh, you again? It looks like he's like, yes, when the lightning goes off. <laughs> like right there. Yeah, I can deal with him taking damage, but it's not the optimal way of fighting him, probably. Oh, no way am I making that on the first try. There's a cherub! Oh, I took the wrong way. Okay. Oh, it's still open. I'll come back for you later, Cherub. 
there. Look out! It's a tree! Wait, wasn't it? This tree was significant in the first game. Yeah, we're in the start. That room was a little iffy. Come back to that room later, probably. Ooh. They're like miniature versions of the boss in the first game. <laughs> oh, you can slide under. That's half my health. Secrets? Felt like a secret. Oh, you can get rid of them! I was right this whole time! Is it based on height? Yeah, it is. Okay. Got it. Yeah, so far I'm using a good mix of all the weapons. I definitely have a favorite, but... No, I'm not going that way yet. No, I'm not going this way. That was a lot of hits. <laughs> With one crit, after all those hits. Uh, I don't want to go up. Oh, jeez. But I'm thinking one more boss. I'll call it quits there. And this will just be my next game of focus for the next few streams. What did that trigger? Nothing. It triggered nothing. Oh, wait. Nope, wrong button. Ah, okay. I'm learning. Oh, it opens at the bottom. Okay, I didn't even notice. Oh, it's just, okay. I'm just making alts. Uh, I need to go down, but fa oh, the it's flat out gone. Okay. Ooh, made it. There, path's open now. This is probably too remote for this one. Yep. I can fight two at once. Just go around them for now. I think that's my least favorite enemy in the game right now. Okay, I need to activate this. It's a timed remote, isn't it? Yeah, I won't even back up. Okay. I'll do it all again. And then just make a beeline for it. Okay. You can go up now. 
Done. Activate all these paths. Oh, new path. Do I want to go all this way though? I'm going very far down. And no secrets. Oh, that was close. Oh, made it. And there's what's her name, so there's a boss here, I guess. And a warp. Ah, uh, do I want a warp? Let's see if I get any upgrades. And it is good timing, actually. It's about three hours. Fight a boss and then uh, call it quits for the day. I found a nun. I won't bother with her. I'll probably come back to her when I find a whole bunch of nuns. See if I have anything to cash in. Pray. The file you bring is able to polish wood and leave it as smooth as the petals of dried flowers. Know that you have my gratitude, penitent one. Okay. If I leave, of the miracle guide thee. leave. It's going to be a different statue now. Slightly. It's got some legs now. My hands attain virtue through obedience and constancy. I begin to feel them go numb, as if submerged into an icy sea. They move of their own accord. Now they are more of the miracle than of me. Ah, uh, exit. May the hands. Yeah, if the marks are limited supply. I'm, I was right to save them, but I just thought after seeing random enemies drop them, I was like, oh, okay, just use them. What do I have here? Slightly increases resistance to fire. Some items I haven't been able to use yet, and that's okay. I can use the marks here if I need them. Uh, 33% done the map. In three hours? That's... I don't know, that's kind of... That's a lot. No upgrades, really. Check if there's anything else in the stores. Actually, I have a lot of cash. I should just buy. You, there's probably an achievement for buying every item, buy, finding every upgrade, like in every Metroidvania. The usual stuff. So I should just buy out some stuff everywhere. You point. Statues if I need them. Yeah, so there's these two marks that are very expensive. Or not, whose origins have long been forgotten. Mystical damage. I'm gonna buy these because if a boss with certain defense or offense shows up, I can use that. I'm gonna eventually buy all this, it doesn't matter. Here among my way. I'm gonna check the other store. This the other store is right beside. Blessed our feast your Let's see that beats damage. We have no more items left. But you never know what may turn up on these paths. Pray come back later. We have no Okay. Now don't tell don't tell me what's gonna happen with them, but my theory is if I buy everything, they're gonna move locations and something something else is gonna domino effect with them. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong though. This is just based on my experience with how things went in Blasphemous 1. Uh I'm gonna go I'm gonna do it. Oh, there. 
Wait, there was a path that I missed? Crap. Okay. Oh, no, I couldn't reach it. Is it your wish that I continue with the story of my promise? Yes. Indeed. It was the miracle's will that made the bell ring. But it was the lady's sin that brought the curse down upon us. The lady. The most beautiful of women who lived in the palace by the lake, lived to admire her own beauty, which she believed to be unnaturally divine. The reflection of the lake in which she admired herself returned her own beauty with yet more intensity and splendor, keeping her spellbound for days. Desiring that reflected perfection for herself, she prayed to the lake that no one else might see that reflection. As she looked at her reflection one more time, she saw her face distort to the sound of a terrible tolling that rose up from the lake's sunken bell. Do you wish me to join you nope. in your next confrontation? Then I shall continue my search until our next meeting. Probably an achievement to, uh, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, but probably an achievement for hearing her full story and finding, f getting an achievement for using her in all the fights. It looks like the room from... It looks like the room in like the first boss in the first game. Look out! Debris! Cool! More debris! Okay, not that way. Uh, I don't know what you're supposed to do there. Just debris everywhere. Oops! There it is, okay. Whoa! Woo! He's sharpening! Okay, he's not gonna come towards me. There we go. <laughs> that noise he makes is amazing. Oh. Jeez. That was a lot of hits. You turn. Oops. Heal up. Oh man, now he's all over the place. Yikes. The U turn. The third one! Crap! Go in the flames! Okay. Definitely didn't do that right. No, that, there's gotta be something better than, to do there. Okay, rocks come. That was cool. He feels, he feels a little silly for this game though. Like just a, a little goofy. If he was a little more grotesque, I think it would be fine. Okay, just dodge through. Oh wait, pick that up. I don't know, I've been dealing on the first hour. Oh crap. 
The first hour of the game just felt like you couldn't go through anything. Yikes. Oh, do they heal in this one still? Okay. I know, I, in the first game I kind of used them for cheese, because when you picked them up, they would re regain your uh, mana, so you could just cast your spells a little longer. Oh, I got a crit there. I don't know why I did there. Okay, heal up twice. This is a beating. Ow. Already lost most of my health from that heal. The U-turn. Fourth? Come on. <laughs> okay. Where's he going? What's he doing? Ow! Oh, I jumped. That's no good. I feel like my first attempt was better than this. Oh, he's up. He's looking for better stuff. A golden sword. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I didn't like the first half of that fight. I kind of took a f free shots. Oh, yeah, I did everything. Like, 100% of the game. Like, achievements, DLC, it's all done. Oh, there's a crit. More spinning. Oh no! Why'd I jump? Okay, where those went, where he threw it, did not match up. Yikes! Oh, he got me. Lay into him. Okay. Why did I do that? Spinning to win. Holy crap, that's a lot of spins. He even gr grinds it when he's walking. Ow. Okay, that wasn't great. Oh, gee. For some reason, I thought it was going to bounce off the top first. And away he goes. I'll heal up again. Whoa! 
Oh! Oh, I thought... You need to stop. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, too close. Spin to win. Again. Whoa. Yikes. He's up. Whoa, he's down. The sharpening is the best part during the walk. Whoa. Oh, that's the wrong attack. One hit, maybe two with these blades. There we go. Oh, his jaw comes up. <laughs> He's just like, ah. <laughs> I get two for him, but not one of the actual bosses. His little prey. Oh, we actually, okay. And we're back. No, wait, somewhere else entirely. Yeah, this wasn't one of the actual, I got more marks for him than I did an actual boss. Ah, uh, that doesn't make sense why he's in grave. And in the beginning. Ah, uh, savings last came from her blind faith. I remember the one that I remember at the start with the girl. Uh, just reading what you're saying here. Yeah, he was he was fun. Just took a while, probably because I'm using like the weak weapon. But uh, golden pendant in the beginning of the cinematic was Christina. Where's Chrisana? Where's Chrisanta? Chris, Chrisanta. Uh, for blind face. I thought it was the uh, the one we had to fight. That girl who just didn't like us the whole game. And it was like the voice in the trailer. How dark and uncertain are the rooms where the miracle allows us to see and talk to one Yeah, okay, I was right. Even after the deaths. Even after the dreams. Penitent one, we are in the chapel of the five doves, and before you prevails the narrative voice of the witness. All that remains of me is testimony, for my deceased body lies exposed in its urn of crystal and gold. You return from the long dream to avoid the birth. You will have need of the uncorrupted tongue that my mortal remains still harbor whose forbidden whispers will guide thee on the path to such an undertaking. Release the five doves, and thus the urn containing my body shall be opened. Wake up now from this dream. Okay. Oh, or not. I thought we had to do it. <laughs> no, this room just reminded me of the first boss in the first game. Oh, geez. We're still going. Oh, no. I'm thinking in the first game, you wake up in the room of all the helmets. That's where we fought the first boss. I'm thinking the first boss after that, when you go into like the churchish area, the dungeon, and you work your way down, and it's like a vine enemy, and he spews the, like the tree boss. That's the thing I'm thinking of. What'd I get? Passage of Ash. There we go. Been waiting for this. 
This, 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 as soon as the game started, I was like, we're getting double jump. <laughs> There's just some stuff that fell out of reach. I was like, yeah, we're gonna get a double jump. It's not gonna be like a floating platform this time. All the way up. Oh, I can make the, wait, can you? Oh, okay, you can't dash and then jump off. I was thinking like Donkey Kong Country mechanics. <laughs> Nope, go down. Oh, you can just hop. Oh, you can't do that though, okay. I thought it was like hop attack, hop attack. You you can, you have to be able to. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, I got it, okay. I don't know, Pendleton 1 being able to double jump seems off though, after playing the first game. He just doesn't seem like the character to have that kind of mobility. For a big bulky guy in a helmet. Yeah, I got no vertical ones right now. I know you can do that, because you had to do that in the first game. Ooh, a red one. I can jump over him. Okay, just keep doing that. One crit. Actually, you know what? I'm already feeling the double jump seems more like you should only be able to do it with the daggers. Being able to do that with the broadsword feels off. Felt It felt more like a weapon specific ability. Oh, quick verse. Oh, there's two different kinds. Okay, now this makes more sense. Oh, it's the same one. Oh, was it going to have double jump? Okay. But just as as like a character in a world, the double jump just seems a little little bit of wind when he jumps. It just seems weird. Actually, am I even going the right way? Yeah, it's a new way. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I didn't do that right at all. Ooh. Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. What I get. Uh, increase the ability to stun enemies. Okay. Locked, locked, locked. Okay, just. Okay, I think. For my first playthrough, I'm going to commit to this sword. I like the sword, like, it's the sword, basically. So I'll use marks on this, scale the abilities. There's probably an achievement for maxing out every weapon in the game, probably. And, but I'll commit to the first playthrough with the sword. Next playthrough with the daggers, then maybe the, the mace at the end. If there, I haven't looked at the achievements. I probably won't look at the achievements until my fir finish with the first playthrough, for the sake of spoilers. But I'm going to assume, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, too. I'm going to assume there's an achievement for just maxing out a weapon. Probably maxing out all the weapons. But I'll commit to the sword for the first one. For like, being my primary weapon. Adds a powerful downward slash with enhanced stun damage at the end of the combo. Jeez, this one ability paths into all of them. His ability to stun. That's level three. Creates a wave. It's already doing the oh additional wave.
Wait, how did I do that stuff? What does it say? Four crystal cards and press it. Cyclone. Probably ha oh, okay. Yeah, okay. And now I have a little extra gauge on my HUD too. So I probably need to adjust, ooh, crap. I need to do a slight adjustment uh, to the vertical stream just to show the little extra HUD on the map. Or uh, the HUD, the extra gauge on the HUD. Whoa! And we're going up. Oh yeah, I figured it was for attack combo now. I just, while I was there, just like, oh, let's see it work. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. I'll, okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna check what I can here. After that, I'll call it quits for today. I got two bosses done, that's what I wanted. Whoa! Beautiful. And how do you activate the other gauge? Gauge to activate blood pack and powers all hits from... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, right, you have to get in the back. I got double jump now. Mobility's in crazy for this guy. You get around most enemies now too. I don't need platforms. I don't know, double jump seems a little too good for this world. One item. Oh, cash, okay. How do you activate it? R1 in square. I'm thinking up in square for some reason. Double jump. Cyclone. Oh, this guy again? Oh, I should have just jumped. I'm dealing with a lot of these little guys now. And okay, keep going up for now. At least finish this area's map, maybe. Oh wait, what was that? Oh, one item, okay. Oh, that's cash. One cherub. Oh, I can dodge this now? Okay, yeah. Double jump's too good. Of course, then I don't. No, no, no health! Run! <laughs> I did not notice I was so low. I, have, I haven't actually prayed since killing the boss. Hey, okay, change of plans. Just cash. are way over there. Can I find any extra goods? No. Do I want to take this path? Oh, got an achievement. Ah, uh, kill 300 using the sword. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have to use every weapon by the end of... It's, at least, I'm thinking three playthroughs, at least. Yikes. Actually, no, it's probably not three playthroughs to finish off the kills for the weapons. I'll probably get them all by the end, because I probably do, like, uh... I do like using every weapon. But if it's gonna be cumulative over the playthroughs, then yeah, it's I'll have it. 
It's gonna be at least two playthroughs, I am 100% sure of that. And yeah, already 300, though it's already like, I do like using the sword. <laughs> I've proven that already. Okay, I'm going all the way back down. It's three o'clock. It's been a three hour stream. I killed 300 enemies. It's a good way to just wrap up this little corner of the map and then probably save and quit. Oh, you get a few extra hits off too. Ooh, that's a nice sound effect. That, it just looks and sounds amazing to do that. And it's a pretty short cooldown because it's just considering how much you do attack with it. It's use it or lose it too, so. And the screen freezes, like, just use it. It's great. I'm gonna heal up already though. Oh, went the wrong way. I can probably get that one cherub. With double jump. Yeah, I made it, okay. Oh, they heal you? I didn't know they healed. For some, uh, for some reason, I thought I had a dash attack with that. Oh, in two, okay. I, I probably I did, probably didn't even notice that they didn't on the first. I probably would have. Like, that's a pretty substantial heal. Uh, this. I have double jump now. What'd I get? Uh, I'm gonna forge and thunder. Wait. Any secrets? Nope. So I got double jump and climb to walls in the first three hours. Well, no, sorry. I can't climb to walls. I can cling to walls. Depending on the wall, I can climb. This whole area is done for now. And all that because... Oh, wait, there's this. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna check that area, then call it quits. Ow! Oh, I'm using the rock. I thought it was on sword. Oh, there's another path here? Oh, right. Yeah, I already feel too powerful, I think. Just because of double jump. Especially with it- Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go up. Especially with the double jump you get from like, I don't want to say an optional area. It could be required later, but I found it. But I just wasn't expecting an ability that far down. Ghost coffins! With lances! Ooh, that makes a nice sound effect. That sounds nice to hit. Actually, wait, I have two of these. Mace in an arc, inflicting lightning damage. Chance. Ooh, <laughs> reminds me of Castlevania. Okay. When I walked in, I thought that was someone to talk to. 
Once it starts swinging, though, <laughs> it's over. You've sealed your fate. The music here reminds me of Dark Souls. Okay, and actually not anymore. M more instruments started playing. Oh, come on, just kill it. Listen to that thud. That's a satisfying thud. For some reason, I feel like I can air dash. I don't know why I feel like it. I don't know how I would feel if I get air dash. I can't make that. Not yet, okay. Don't tell me if there's an air dash. We gotta keep spoilers intact for this playthrough. Look out! Little guys! Aw, oh, that execute. Oh, I guess I could just execute him. And... This area keeps going. Yeah, I'm... I don't want to keep going, like... Oh. When darkness descends on my tiles, my lanterns awaken. It is their light that protects us in this shadowy corner full of old rosaries. My name is Sagrario. Knotting rosaries okay. is my penance. I found where the knots go. And I cannot serve a more virtuous cause than thine own, penitent one. If you give me the knots, I shall increase the mysteries of your rosary so that they might fill thee with consolation. Do you have rosary knots, Penitent? Yes. Now, let my hands knot a new mystery on your rosary. They only got like one, right? I can go, oh, a candle went out. Your rosary now treasures yet another Don't mystery. tell me if that's how many rosaries there are. <laughs> I shall wait for you to give me more. Okay, uh, what do I want to put in? Priest. Does the amount of shields under it mean the level? Like level 2 defense, level 2 magic defense, 1 fire defense? I I'm assuming that's how it works. Slight, yeah, slightly increases versus increases. Okay. Uh, all physical damage, tears of atonement. I'll slap this on, just cause. I'll put one of these on, it doesn't matter. I can change it when I need to. But yeah, we're going for, would even, wait, does it? Never mind. Uh, yeah, I definitely stick with sword. And then next playthrough, I'll make it daggers. Like I'll even choose daggers at the start. Wait! I have more questions. Never mind. Just put on the basics for now. Hey, more people! I keep saying where to finish, but I keep finding stuff. May those who seek seclusion enter. <laughs> Miracle, thee who possess the keys to open all things and the hands to lock them, welcome thine servant. Penitent one, Thee who comest in search of the morning behind our black veils, find my daughters, 
and snuff out the light of the candles that accompany them. Only then will you be able to enter into their morning. Okay. Anything to the left? Nope. Can I attack you? Nope. Wait a minute. If if this is a town, I need to go outside to confirm something. This feels a lot more in the future of an area compared to the village to the left. It's like a more advanced vi village entirely. Door is locked. Let's talk to the hand. And for your thirst, I am water. For your cold, fire. Oh, make way for he who does not yet know me, who has not yet kissed me. Don't do it, Penitent One. Parishioner, you come seeking mine own sweet blessing. Kneel down and place your lips on my holy sanctity. Hey, do it. He's got a mask on, he can't kiss it. Valoris, feel how my grace fills thee with joy. I alone am thy refuge. I alone am thy comfort. Blessed are those who venerate me, for they will feel my favor, the favor of holiness itself. <laughs> Here's a cloth. Oh, it's for mana, okay. Feel your further, exude from every fissure of your armor, and rejoice, mine own penitent one. I shall continue to assist you, if you grant me your kisses. <laughs> I got lips of the golden mask. That should count for something. Now can I go in? No. Okay, just big talking hand. Got it. And all this was for two other areas. Actually, it was three. It's a dead end for just upgrades. Anything up here? I better check. This could just be upgrade village. That's an enemy. It's like a miniature version of the, my favorite boss in the first game. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna call it quits here. Got tons of upgrades, beat two bosses. It's been three hours. There's something up there too. There's no fall damage. I need to always remember that. Uh, and I did mark most of this stuff. I got everything down here. The Ritual of the Night DLC was in here, unfortunately. How much of the, okay. Let's see, 30, oh, 36% of the map when I only said 33% like an hour ago. So it's going at an okay rate. And now I'm doing new exploration now. So this is probably where the 3% is. And we're gonna be going up based on how much the map can scroll. How much we get done? So 36%. Oh, it's a gauge for marks. Oh, I know there's a lot left. I'm hoping there is. I don't, I wanna be wrong. But when a game tells you like, this is the percent of the game you've already explored. It throws, I don't like that. I don't want to know how much of the game is left, basically. Because, uh, even in, what are you talking Like, even talking to that girl with the rosary beads, how one candle on her head goes off, like, don't show that there's six candles kind of thing. I don't want games to do that. Like, if, I'm, if based on a story game, yeah, I can piece it together based on how far we are. But when it, and Metroidvania tells you you have X amount of this done, throws it off. Like, cher collectibles like cherubs, that's fine. But stuff like, collect, like, the knots with her lighting the candles or, like, the map completion, just... Games shouldn't tell you that. Especially in Metroidvania. 
Well, no, sorry. There are exceptions to Metroidvania, because like, if you beat the game, you unlock New Game Plus or something, and then it says you've collected X out of 100, that's fine. But for a first playthrough, don't do that. Like, don't tell me. Like, the stuff in the corner with Cherubs, Cherubs, uh, the map, and the mark, I don't know about the marks yet. I still understand the marks completely, but if all that came, was displayed on New Game Plus or second playthrough, that'd be fine. And I wish it showed how much mana it took from you. These are kind of expensive. Well, these ones are. Okay. We have one dash and we have double jump, which I think shouldn't happen this early. And for some reason, to open the map, you have to press share instead of the touch screen. Even though the game in the menu says use touch screen. Uh, I'm way down here, right? Yeah, okay, looks like it. Work my way right up, down, left, right. I think I didn't save after I did all this, because this is all the candle people, yeah. When darkness it is there, my name is Sekandai. Yeah, I've already done all this. I guess I saved before talking to him. Okay. And then the other two rooms are a giant hand that wants to talk to you. And this old lady that says, like, go kill my sisters. I don't know why I didn't save. I'm pretty sure I saved. I felt like I saved twice after that session. But yeah, quickly just talk to her. Again. Miracle. But yeah, I remember she's just like, go kill my sisters. That's what her objective is. And I got all the upgrades I need. Like, I have two spells now. I increase my mana when I talk to the hand. That's what I get out of him. So we can just make a beeline to him. But yeah, just a giant hand. And, oh, parishioner. Kneel. But yeah, I've already done all this. You kneel, you kiss, or you give him a kiss. I don't know what it is. And you get some more mana. There it goes. Okay, now we're good to go. Oh no, my axe! Actually, that's pretty cheap for the axe throw. Okay, save again. Okay, we're good to go. We're going this way, right? Yep. Doctor, how's it going? Just in time for new areas. Oh, right, this guy. English, ah, uh, just English here. I got no Spanish in me. Oh crap. That's half my health? Holy crap! I don't know about even... Yeah, I'm just gonna fight him again. Let's get out of the way. Double jump, no. I felt like, for some reason, I thought I could jump off the wall there. I also didn't feel like this guy took so many hits last time. I felt like I took care of these guys, like, instantly when I first saw them. There we go, okay. Now we can start. I dealt with these last time. She goes swinging. I probably could have parried that. Ow! Now it's already looking like a heal. Okay, got one. I'm not sure what you're saying, Cole. That looked like it hit more behind. I already forgot how to do my spells. That's the heal, that's not what I wanted. And now I have to- wait, no, I can still take him. Yeah, I got him. Oh, you like the hair? Yeah, 
It's been growing since COVID started, basically. I just wasn't interested in getting a haircut, like, during the pandemic. And I just was like, eh, it's only long enough. Keep it long. I got full combo off that. Everyone I know has lately has been wanting me to get rid of it, though. Like, girlfriend, parents, grandparents. I'm like, no, just keep it. First time I ever grew it this long. I'm noticing that the sun is shining in, too, and it's affecting, like, the webcam lighting. The coffins just remind me of that one boss with the three sisters from the first game. Can't even see him now. I didn't get the double hit! There it is. Which way am I? Little guy! He's coming! I actually haven't parried anything. Uh, do I want to go down and right? It's more cat. It might be a trap. Oh, no, just... Oh, nothing. Oh, uh, it's not redhead, actually. It might just be the lighting. It's, it's pretty brown. I used to be blonde, unfortunately, but genetics kicked in, I guess. But I'm, I, I just put that to blame for the lighting, probably. Once the sun goes, because I'm getting like some natural light coming through the blinds right now. Once the sun goes down, it'll prob Whoa! probably be a lot more brown, or a lot more noticeably brown. I should... Okay, one dead. Ooh, my face! One HP. Probably work my way back. It's a free item. Oh no! Yeah, like girlfriend wants it short, her friends want it short, like everyone's against me. One one friend I have is is for it. Oh, I missed the ride. Okay. Okay, summon this again. See if I can do it right. Oh, that's still pretty far away. Okay. I feel like you're gonna get air dash or something. I can't. I don't. Uh, you should be able to go this way. I feel like I have to go back and get health, anyways. Yeah, there's nothing for me over here. Okay, mark it on the map. We'll put the... Uh, no, not a cherub. We'll put a... Put a chest. It's not a chest, but whatever. Keep going right. If I... This doesn't look right. Map-wise, I feel like I'm at a dead end. I don't even recognize where I am right now. Yeah, it's all dead ends for me right now. And so is that. So I guess I'm just going to work my way back up here. Or where was the other path? Way back up here. Yeah, I, I don't remember coming all this way down here. Richard, how's it going? That's the other thing to find is just some people think it's it's a girl. With the hair. Yeah, I can heal up, though. Uh... Okay. I guess I'm leaving. Fine. Yeah, okay. So, I stopped there. There's a lot to...
do here? I'm gonna... Just a sec. Before I go, I'm gonna mark this on my map. I'll put... Oh, you can't stamp fog? Crap. Okay. Uh, there and there. There. Hopefully there's not a limit to how many markings you can do. If <laughs> you grow the volume up. <laughs> I don't even remember this area. Oh, I remember now. Okay, get out of there. Oh, I can't even go this way. Yeah, last session, I think I got here. I died right here, and then I just kind of went to a different way. So I guess I'll work my way through, connect to this area, and see where it takes me. And these guys you can't even kill. You gotta take out the one that's connected to- Whoa! Old lady with owls! Oh, I didn't execute! You didn't get to see what happens. You see, owls eat her body, at least. And there's a cherub. I'm already a third of the cherubs, too. But yeah, the plan tonight, everyone, is just finishing the first act. Like, the plan right now is get up to here, probably a boss, work my way back down, probably a bigger area here for the next boss. From there, collected the first three MacGuffins for whatever happens to open up the next area. That's the plan, just get those two items. But I'm looking to do, like, at least three hours, so probably something else done afterwards. Like, the, take out the first boss after on the first that second act or something. What's weird is that you already get double jumped two hours into the game, and I find that so confusing. Wait, can I go down? No, no secrets. There could be spikes right below me, I have no idea. The name of the game right now is just Explore. Looking for secrets. There. I guess we're gonna get like a dash ability for the dag- That's my guess, it's gonna be the daggers and we're just gonna blast through this wall. Oh, it just opens a path? Okay. Uh, put a roadblock there. Keep moving. With the way the movement for this game is so far, I'm wondering if we're gonna get like a down thrust, like a like a Hollow Knight, and just pogo off stuff. Cause you can already pogo with the daggers a little bit. Uh, keep going. This is all new territory. I gotta see what the execution is for the old lady. So her, her normal death animation is already pretty grotesque with the owls eating her. Ceiling spikes? I'm gonna check what's on the left. Oh, one of these. Okay, I was expecting another path to open up when I ring the bell. Anything? No. I can't go that way. Well, I can. There's just a wall right now. I gotta break it. Now we have to run. I also don't know if ceiling spikes will be insta-death. Oh! Yeah, I don't know if they're insta-death or not.
Made it, okay. What fresh hells are over here? Oh, the yeah. Okay. Another cherub. Now I'm a third of the way done. New enemies! Though the fact- with the paper on him, it just looks like he's more like an informant NPC. A lot of crits on him. Oh! That one's pretty tame. That's not a great execute. Oh, there's a whole other area. No, I thought it just looked like he was a wall with like signposts to read for like bounties or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to a new area yet. First finish off this one. I wanna at least connect the maps to the left and right sides. Plus there's a whole world up here. Yeah, I want to at least connect the two sides, explore what I can, then work my way to that tower. And this is probably going to take me to a new, new area. Yeah, something new. At least find a save point or a warp. We're going to fight a big guy here. Oh, nothing. Wow, okay. Something gonna come from the background? Nope. One item! 5,000 bucks. Uh, there's something over there. Do I want to drop? Okay, nope. Uh, an enemy could appear on the way back. Come on, there gotta be something. Like, I'm looking- No. Oh. A lot of yellow dots for some reason. No, the way- I was expecting something to jump out. I was expecting something to like be in the background. And you walk by, you come back, it's gone, it jumps- Jumps to the foreground. Something in the water, like, I was just looking everywhere for something to that was moving. Nothing. Oh, I escaped. I don't think I'm going this way. Not yet, anyway. There! Let's see it. He just does the vines tour? I was hoping for something unique! Any secrets? Another old lady. And I guess it does magic damage with the purple aura around me. Okay, almost connected at all. I have no idea what a leap of faith! Going to the tower might have been the right call. Oh, there's one door. Okay, that's the one I need, but this is the one I want. Check what's over here first. More secrets! Oh! Oh, that's a nun! Okay, I thought that was like a woman down on her luck. One crow. A suspicious crow that's not doing anything. Here's a big guy.
I don't know, having the double jump just feels so... Oops. Okay, wait, what's... <laughs> what button am I pressing? How do you do it? Where's that move? R1 and square, yeah. There. And take a hit for nothing. That was a waste of a heal. Okay, now it's all connected. I think I'm going to the tower next. This crow's suspicious. I don't trust it. Okay. New path? Yeah, it's a whole other area in here. Let's see if I can make this kind of... Yep. I'm safe. Ooh, upgrades! I'm not gonna use them, but... Like, this, this first run, I'm just primarily using the sword. Like, this is going to require at least probably two more playthroughs, so I might as well just commit one weapon per run. It was worth coming back, though, for the upgrade. Uh... Yeah, I want to go this way now. So I guess down to the right again. A lot of blood. I'm really expecting a uh, dash attack to come from this, the daggers. Like a flying dash attack, not just with the dash move plus attack. Oh, okay, I can't- wait, can I open that? Yes. I have the means now. There. What'd I get? A uh, preferred liar's tongue. I have no idea what that's for. Oh, it's actually an I, I thought it was to give to someone. <laughs> so far, no big problems this run. Or this session. Like, a few big guys, sure, but nothing that's, like... I feel too safe now with the double jump. Because you can jump higher than most enemies. So far, this song is sounding good. Oh, they got new moves! Still with the daggers? There we go. Another one? No! Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's a waste of a heal. Ooh, big swing. <laughs> it looked like it would hit from behind, even. I'm not going to activate that yet. Oh! That dealt like the smallest damage in this whole game so far. <laughs> yeah, I connect these. I think I can get a heal off too. I think there's a shrine up ahead. There isn't. Okay. Back up.
Like, I think once they're upgraded, I think daggers will be the most fun. Just based on mobility is my guess. But sword's just a good all-around starter based on the original. The mace, I don't know if I'm ever going to enjoy that. Whose spirits are these? Ow! You might be able to parry that. I was trying to do the uppercut, it didn't come out. I have too much cash already. <laughs> Too early! You have to be able to parry the ghost. For the blighted blades, that sounds like a spell. Is it a spell? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, brush shards, sharp blades, I inflict my asthma. I wish it would tell you the str like mana cost for these. I'll try this one. Oh, that is not what I thought the spell did. I thought I was just going to shoot straight ahead, not heat seeking. Like, it just does that spell. There's the uppercut. Cherub off in the distance. You're free! Now we're over a third of the way. There's a real execute. Not just the vine execution. Well, I guess I mistimed that. Completely. There it is! Lost half my health to do that. Do I want to interact with this? The punished one. That's a statue. Okay, I can't do that right now. Can't even go that way. Okay. It's going to be like basically do this whole area, wind up fighting the boss, and then go going straight to the village to do all these upgrades. Uh, can destroy certain services that are impenetrable to other weapons, reach a great height, and combine. I'll be equipped if you pour at the right height. The weight of sin will devastate everything. I've already learned this from experimenting on my own. But th what I did learn is it works on the left and right. I thought it was only below. So now I have to rethink a few areas. Uh, petrified lightning bolt. I'm getting a lot of I up personal upgrades right now. Or passive items, I mean. Savrock, you made it, eh? So far, you've just missed some exploration right now. No bosses or anything new. Actually, hit this switch. I don't even know if I want to take that yet. I'm surprised that that was such an early parry. I'm surprised that worked. Yeah, I think you were. I think you were talking last session. Look out! Okay. Like, last session was Saturday. Saturday morning, because for some reason I was awake so early. Uh, how far back down can I send this? Start with there. Oh, 
Oh, it reached. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I guess we're not taking that. It was Mrs. Pretty. Like, this one I feel is a little... Because I get double jumps so early, I feel this one's a little too easy compared to the first already. That could change, but that's how I'm feeling. Wow, I probably could have done it with just climbing. Uh, see what else I can do here. I have an idea when I try and do something here. Actually, no, I think I've done this backwards. I don't think that's gonna work. I felt like my first attempt blind was better. Oh no, no way is that reaching. Oh. Okay. Don't even need them pretty much. Two platforms. Uh, color wise and maybe even like, like there's a lot less executions in this. So far from what I've played for the first four hours. Like there's no, there's no cinematic pixel arts in this too. They went with just animated scenes. I can open this. There. Like, the pendant one, I just feel shouldn't be double jumping around the screen. See, I told you this guy would move around. Uh, like, just for being this big, bulky guy in, like, this biblical world with curses and stuff, just double jumping just doesn't feel right. This crown of majestic buildings was built to study the awe-inspiring glow but hinted at the shape of a basilica once witnessed by fervent worshippers. No one has ever laid eyes upon it again until now. The miracle bestows its blessing upon us all by revealing to us what has long been hidden, invisible and out of bounds. Cast your eyes upon our shop window one item? I'll buy it. We have no more items left. But you never know what may turn up on these parts. Pray, come back later, penitent one. No, I, I'm just... You buy everything, he shows up somewhere else. I think that's his whole shtick. Eventually you have to buy every item for the achievement, so I might as well just do it now. I want to try and parry this guy. Okay, you can, it'll break, but... Whoa! Oh, I should have executed him. I've never seen that guy's execute. Okay, I'm definitely gonna fight everything, then do that again. The parries! The half health? Oh, that didn't do anything to him. No, I, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I'm playing it. I'm glad it's made. I just feel they, they cut down on some stuff. Made it! Like, they would reduce pixel art to reduce the amount of executions. Like, they, they gave him a double jump two hours into the game. I <laughs> uh, keep going up for now. Okay, I know what I gotta do here. Put that there. Get some height, and then slam it. There. 
That I don't think I even needed that platform. Why would I need I have double jump. Why do I why is this moving? What's the need of it? Oh, unless double jump's optional this early. That could be it. The parries! Yeah, maybe you're not supposed to have double jump this early. Maybe that's why I'm complaining. Like, I found, I know it's an optional. Okay, no, I'm, I'm talking as if I know. It could be, it's optional, maybe. I found it early. I beat that boss, so I got it. But now it's just affecting my first playthrough in the sense of it feels easy because of it. Oh, there's the warp. Okay. Okay, first kill everything. One mark. And that's just going to lead me to cash. I don't know, if we get some kind of air dash, I think this- I think he's gonna be way too mobile. All that for a mark? Really? Okay. Like, I know they were saying, like, they wanted to make this game a bit more Metroid- like, more Metroidvania than the first one. But, I think jumping straight to double jump is a little... is taking the easy route, I should say. Or, like, give it later. Make it, like, an endgame thing. I'm not gonna ring the bell yet. Oh, okay, I guess I am. Okay, going down. Uh, yeah, like, they coulda... Like, he was a heavy hitter, that's how I feel about him completely. Double jump, they, like, I'm okay with it, but, like, they should've gave it later. And I guess the, uh, the chatbot thought ass was a little too much for you. Yeah, I guess the chatbot didn't like it. Actually, let me just check something on my end, just because you said that. Oh yeah, it just deletes all your messages, I don't like that. Like, every one of your previous messages I can't see now. But I can see them in this other chat reader I'm using, so it's okay. Uh, going left. Whoa! Oh, it keeps rolling. Where the missiles? No missiles that time. There's the uppercut. Oh, you get two hits off with it, too. Yeah, I don't like how the, uh... The chatbot, like, purges all your previous messages, and I'm like... You can't turn it off. I hate it. Okay, got it. Oh, I got switched again. I play. I didn't. Hmm. The Skyrim I played for some reason. I just kept replaying it. It was one of those games where like you start, you play for like ten hours, you leave it for like a few months, and you're like, ah, oh, just make a new file. I think I did that like three times to it. Like, I can't remember a thing about that game. I think the furthest I think I got plot wise was when you have to head north into like the winter area to find like monks or something. I like that. Most of that game I just explored non stop. I didn't care about the plot. But that's really the only Bethesda game I think I've put some time into. I think I'm going a little too far. Oh! I live 
Not for long. I live again inside this merciless and cold metallic casing. I live in this cage in the shape of what was long ago my body. I live and I feel that I am directed by forces that undermine mine own will. I live Although when I close my eyes in the intimate darkness behind my eyelids, I am still dead. Oh, we're- oh, okay! It sounds- I don't, I don't know if I'm right, I wanna check. That sounds like Colonel Campbell from Metal Gear Solid 2. It really did. Okay, we got ground explosions. He's in the air. He's doing a lot, actually. Oh, more ground slams! Oh, I'm chunking him! Oh, jeez! Again! More ground slams? Okay, didn't do much. That's gonna chunk him. Get out of there! Oh no! More ground slams! Fire the missiles at him. Flames! No, I wanted flames! Ugh! Oh, I almost perfected him. Oh, no flames! That is the least climactic attack he has. It's just a little thrust forward. Ugh. See, that's the time. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Another phase. The child came out of the box! It's like Demon Slayer! Are we not gonna get an explanation for the child in the box? Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a good chunk. <laughs> so, wait, this guy was fleeing around the box with a child inside? <laughs> Look out! Yeah, put the blood on. Okay, that was a waste of a gauge. You're dead! Die! <laughs> okay. Another phase? Oh, it keeps going! Mana! I'm in a bad spot. I feel like the child's the better first target, actually. Oh, no! Bad spot. Blood! Yeah, child's gotta die first. And it's not gonna let me. Magic missiles! Oh no, bad timing. Oh! Bad spot, bad spot, bad spot! Okay, child down. Ooh, I almost died there. Oh, all the damage. Oh, my face.
Again? I can't see. <laughs> Okay, once you get the blood red, blood red silhouette, you know it's over. Got the achievement. Or got a achievement, not the achievement. <laughs> One mark for two bosses, technically? That was a fun boss. No, I don't think the child was controlling him because he was talking about how like he's still alive and how he's the head in the chest and everything. Story time. I witness to this vigil before my final journey. My body has been returned to me. At last, I am now master of this flesh, of this trembling, of this agony. How sweet the pain, when it is our own, penitent one. You, who came to witness the miracle, behold. Okay. <laughs> but their plea was so humble and true, that the miracle, whose lofty reasons are beyond our earthly ken, finally stirred from its slumber aroused from its repose, and moved by the sweet melody of such noble supplications, it blessed this couple of devout believers, whose faith had never wavered, granting them the child they so desired. The dying day already puts out its celestial light. Causing my eyelids to droop. Let the miracle cast open its black gates. So I might venture to wear that terrible dream from which one never wakes awaits. End scene. Yeah, see, no more pixel art on these animated scenes. Okay. Got two of them. Penitent one, you have known the second of the regrets, and with it, another part of the testimony the figure of the mother has descended full of mercy yeah i'll see you later anon the upper part of the city separated from the rest by the miracle's design will join the rest find the last guardian it's beneath me right yeah, I didn't think we were close enough. I thought we were... I thought, I thought it was, like, up here a bit more. Okay, it's right there. Okay, first, explore all this. Find whatever I can. Any upgrades that I can, and then work my way back down. Now, watch how she leaves. That's so cool. It doesn't look, like, angelic. <laughs> it doesn't look angelic at all. It just looks nice. Uh, do I want to go down? Okay. Uh, left into the- and down. Uh, no, go the other way. Go around. I forgot how to parry for a second. Okay, I can't even move. I need a healing. If I heal, I'm just going to wind up over here, though. Wow, that deals, like, no damage to them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think I just found double jump too early. 
Or like I found a hidden upgrade, which is double jump. There's some cash if I need it. I can't even reach that actually. I can get this at least. Unfinished lullaby. Oh, it all connects. I thought it was gonna be a whole new area over here. Uh, over here. I don't remember why I didn't check these or if I could even. And then I gotta connect these. Okay. I gotta go back. Might as well just 100% what I can per region. And anything that I can't m mark off then come back later. Like right here. So I can just mark this off and use uh, green gem? I don't know. There's no marker for cash deposit. Uh, yeah, go back down, keep going down. Uppercut! It's beautiful. Oh, I, oh, those barely hurt you. That may have been the least damaging attack in the whole game I've seen so far. Ow. Oh, I wasn't on the ground for the parry. There we go. It's beautiful. Every time I enter these elevators from the top, I'm pressing down first to try and go down. But no, you have to press up for some reason. Oh, right. Okay, I remember this. There. Oh, didn't know they were timed. Scroll of the Elder. Slamming! Oh, it didn't even kill him. Okay, uh, let's see. Go down. I can take the hand and warp, or... I can go back up, work my way, and just see what was here. Oops. But yeah, after this, I'm not sure what I'm going to play next. Like, this one will probably keep me busy for like two, three weeks. But I don't know what I'm going to start after. I only had Hi-Fi Rush and Blasphemous for my for two Steam games that I wanted to play recently. Oh, I have Nine Years of Shadows. I could play that. That's just another Metroidvania, and I don't know if I want to play another one right after. Oh, I need to go back down. Oh wow, that stunned him pretty fast. Oops. The parries! Wasn't there a way to increase your attack damage in the first game? For some reason, that's my thought. I'm just like, I should be able to deal damage fast. Have anything new for me? We have no more. You should move on then. I don't need to talk to you. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. I'll start with this path. If it'll even work, I think it's a dead end. Oh no. Free the cherub. It's crazy that you heal when you collect a cherub now. Oh, it kind of splits, so that's cool. No, not enough. I know, collecting cherubs, there's probably like some uh, speedrun tactics to get a free heal off before like a boss or something use them. Yeah, I can't go any other direction right now here. I will mark this with red trinket. Red means roadblock, basically. Yikes! That was way too early. I think I've seen that execute the most. Oh, this was a... This isn't a dead end, though. There's something on the top. Oh, it's one of these paths. Okay. Okay, I'm done this area. Work my way back now. Do I want to go this way? Yes. Actually, no, this is the wrong way to go. Oh, wait, there's a path. There. Ooh, parries. Now lay into- Oh, it take- I didn't know it takes some of your HP! It took the slightest bit! Missiles. I'm wondering if I want- hmm, I'm wondering if you can do three hits, uppercut, Switch to daggers, then bounce off. That's what I want to test. Oh, you can switch in the air. Okay. Oh, wrong weapon. Okay. Do it again. There. Jabir of the Poison of Jealousy. Evokes a memento of poison which inflicts miasma damage all around. Okay. This is a dead end too. Okay. It's worth coming. Found an item. I definitely need to make my potions more... more potent if that's possible. Uh, up and to the left. Am I still going? Yeah. I'm just trying to get to the hand to teleport. But yeah, I wasn't expecting a boss so soon. I thought this area was going to keep going for a bit. Uh, oh, I missed my hand. Okay. Right here. Okay.
Uh, I could go back and see what I can upgrade there. I think the next upgrade for reels is here. Plus I have a few statues I need to test. Like see what combinations work for a few more buffs or whatever. See if I got anything. Okay. Uh, open. See if I have any combinations. Increases mystical damage. Chance of critical hits when using prayers. Here's the strength of Rugoel Alba. I don't know which. Oh, that's the daggers? Which one's Rugoel Alba? Is it the sword? Yeah, it is. Okay. Pray. Remove, 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 remove. Stun power. That's the only combination I have so far. There's got to be another combo somewhere. That one's glowing. Uh, Reaper Rosary launches a cutting wave that causes mystical damage. I don't know what that means. Okay, try some other combinations. Okay, replace the Maiden with some other stuff. See if there's any other combination. I may only have the day. Put that back. Where'd it go? There we go. Uh, that one's the only other one I know of. Or I can upgrade these and max out the, this. I feel like I have enough marks to do this. No, I don't. It's too expensive. I'll stick with these for now. Neither hand. What's the other ability I got, though? Reaper Rosary launches a cutting wave. Okay, well, which move is that? Launch a dare thing slash a human speech. Okay. What's next? What items do I got? Tend to soothe the cries of the innocent one. Old man who dwells in the hamlet of the golden knots. With the parchment and ink from beginning to end. I have to go somewhere. Where is it? I remember where the mom is. I don't remember where on the map, though. I feel like it was in here. Like right there, maybe. If anything's happened in here, maybe? Anyone new showed up? Do you wish to purge your No. I will remain. I want my guilt high. It's not that much guilt, I think. Yeah, I have to go down here, I think. A few things I can grab now, too. 800, only 800 bucks? Really?
Okay, let's test it. Jeez, that drained fast. How does it work? Oh, I don't have it. That explains it. It's a way of increased mystical damage when performing weight. Buy it all. Increase the base damage. There we go. That's what I need. And there's the giant gauge. Okay. It all makes sense now. I hate that animation. Ow! Perry didn't come out. Oh no, keep going down. There she is. What? But I have an item! Just for you! Well, written by a mother intended to soothe the cries of the innocent one. I thought it was for you! Fastest way out would be... I can try and get that item, but I guess go all the way down to this warp. No, I had it all planned out! I still can't make that. Almost. Yeah, I guess just leave and uh... Oh, I took the wrong path anyways. Might faster just go to that one. Up and to the right. There's no music in this dungeon, too. The lightning still got me. Ooh, that was a big swing. Okay. I'm definitely not using mana enough. My blue gauge is always full. It feels so nice hitting those. The impact is so good. Uh oh. Heal up. I don't think there's going to be any upgrades over here. Is there going to be another one? I can heal up off another. Oh, it took so much of my HP! I keep forgetting it drains your HP a bit. Oh no! Little guys! Strong little guys! Even that's not enough HP. Just leave. There's the warp, but since I'm here, I might as well check. If I can do anything in here. Bestow upon me your f Oh, I got nothing. Okay. I'll talk to the old lady and then after that I'm good to keep exploring. If anything. <laughs> Problem is this takes a while to load in and then have him stop praying to stand up. Even leaving has to go back into praying position. The vigil find my daughter.
Okay, back to exploring. Try and get to the next boss. Heal up first. Yeah, go left. Uh... Yeah, I gotta go middle, I guess. Is that a secret wall? Nope. Okay, gotta go down, left, explore. I guess I died here and then just didn't come back. Like, going through that door, I got killed and I went all the way back just to get my items and kept going. All oh, right, the house. Okay, something's in here. We got to deal with little guys again. That was a little early. I did not think that was going to parry. Yeah, keep going left. Oh, and I can slam on this now. Okay. So you would need double jump? Well, yeah, you need double jump and you'd need this sword to be able to do that. So that would be the blockade if you didn't take the, the sword. I was wondering that. This looks like a trap. <laughs> That's not the trap. This is the trap. She's got Beyblades. We got little guys. Ow. Okay, you're hurting me. Too early. I need to heal again. There. I haven't seen one of you guys in a while. Whoa. And again, just a pr branch death. The Alchemist. Ah, uh, let's just check for a sec- Hey. More enemies. The puppy's barking at something. Hey, secret wall? No secret wall. Okay. So yeah, the blockade for daggers are the floating mirrors. Blockade for the... Actually, what is the blockade for this? I guess it would just be bells. And then sword is just tree branches. And I still have to keep going left? Yeah. Ow! Ooh, I need to heal. Keep going. Where's all the music? Little guys everywhere! It's been two areas with no music. I'm going to... Go to the main menu. Go back in. See if that fixes it. Yeah, I hear some atmospheric stuff in the background now. There it goes. Okay. Glitch happened somewhere. Little guy just ran at me. Okay, got music operational again. Let's 
see if I can reach anywhere. No. I'm going the wrong way, I guess. I have to go down and then left. Look, guys, keep spawning. She's got Babel. Oh, right. I never checked to the right here because I got distracted by the Beyblade. I went up to a killer and just kept going. Okay, there's the warp. Dead end. And then over, th I think over here is a bell now that I can activate. Okay, didn't hit me. Yeah, I think I've opened up this area now. The parries! Does this open up? Oh, okay. I wouldn't call that a secret door. There were cracks in the wood and everything. Is that really a secret, though? Like, there's not much of a difference here. There's a chest. Oh, he got me! Lantern still fell. Or chandelier. Uh, okay. I was worried I was gonna take a hit. Okay. What else can I do? Heal up. Just in case there's a healing right around the corner. There isn't. Okay. And it's just mummy birds around here. There. Shortcuts. Real shortcuts. These guys are everywhere. No! I don't want a boss. Or oh, this isn't a boss. Oh, I definitely got my mana's worth on that one. Did it have to be the little guys now? Whew, okay, got them all. Okay, I expected a lot more out of that. But I expected one of those big marinades that shoot the purple lightning at you. Nothing in the walls. Little marionette out of that one. Yep, there it goes. Little guys are everywhere. And they deal a lot of damage too. They are worse than flea men from Castlevania. Uh, do I want to go up? Go left first? Uh, I'm not going to heal yet. Oh, it broke. Okay. Did not think it was going to make it. They're everywhere! Oh, I, ex I expected at least two more out of those. Okay, we gotta speed over. I feel like I, I want to go back and save now. 
I feel like we're reaching. We're going too far that the boss could just appear on me. Oh, I made it. It's another trap! Not that, it's... It's never the lantern that's the trap. A lot of mummy birds right now. Kill everything before it gets a chance to move. Oh, she got the Beyblade off, really? How did I dodge that? Uh-oh. Secret on the wall, maybe? Silverclad Crystal Shard. I'm thinking that goes to the... the architect. Definitely gonna heal now. Heal up! I don't have to go take that way, I can go left now. Probably nearing the boss. Did not think that would work. I did that pretty late. It's a trap! Oh, it's an old lady. And you may die. Perhaps <laughs> rot away before my very eyes, but that will not help you. I can wait as long as it takes. Long after those insatiable worms have finished their repulsive feasting. In the end, I will discover that secret thou hast been concealing from me since the first dusty cobweb appeared under the eaves of this home. And since the first wrinkle marred thine already pale and bony forehead. But for now, behave yourself. Can you not see we have a guest at our table? I was really hoping he was going to sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Please sit down. Welcome oh. to this humble table. My name is Gastula, for that was what my parents so desired. It is a great rarity these days for footsteps to echo through these lonely halls. And believe me, yours have not gone unnoticed. What dost thou seek here? Dost thou crave the same fate that befell so many unfortunates who ended up possessed by the very gold they sought to make their own? Yes, this manor is awash with mysteries, secrets, and curses. Hopefully she's related to the boss. If only I could find the hiding place of my brother Trifon's manuscript, perchance I might have at least one less mystery to solve. How deluded you are. Did you think you could keep it from me any longer? Do not listen to this brother of mine, dear visitor. Do not believe- I thought it was her tips. husband. Oh, here you go. What? What does this mean? It's blank. I thought it was covered with names. I can't hear you. Where have you gone, Trifon? Don't leave me. Stay. Even with intrigues. Even with secrets. Remembrance of Trifon. I no longer hear your voice. I do not believe you have gone. Is this another of your dis- is it an upgrade or oh symbol of an old man who never recognized the affections he felt for his sister? I guess we give it to the sculptor, maybe. Uh increases resistance to fire. I got oh I have two slots for this now. When did I do that? Uh lightning damage mystical, miasma. Slightly increased versus can we sort these? No. I can really read the lore, but you can't sort.
No, put that there. There we go. Or it's probably a key I had to get through this dungeon, maybe. This place keeps going. What's that gonna do? Okay. There's a bell upstairs I'm gonna have to use too. Another little guy. Oh wait, check for wall secrets. Crap, I thought there'd be one there. Okay, quick check on my end of something. Something looks wrong on my end. No, everything looks right now. Okay. I think I'm okay. This can't be the same save. Oh, it's a different one. Okay. Keep going. Oh, I thought I cleared it. I, there's projectiles everywhere. And there's probably mummy guys here. Yep. Take out the little guys. We just dodged him the last second. There's gotta be more. Oh no. Beyblades. Two Beyblades. More mu little guys. Ow! Heal up. Just to be safe. Oh, come on! Just slows me down. And it's the worst to execute, too. It's not even the good one. Ooh, a big guy! Oh, right. Lightning. There. Just hop over, get a few hits before he even turns around. Okay. Clearly the boss. It's always the tree branch execution. Give me one of the different ones. Nothing else I can do here. Go left now, see what I can find. I really don't need this many shortcuts. I don't think I'm ever going to come back this area. Wow, that missed. Okay. I thought I was going to take that hit for sure. Oh, you get your jump back, which is kind of rare in games like that. It's not often you get your jump back during one of these, like, dash. There we go. I need whatever's up there. Oh, it's a timed one. Okay. There. The Tempest. I'm probably gonna get more slots for the uh, statues. It's another trap room. More little guys! Three little guys! Burn this place to the ground! <laughs> Yikes! Pfft. 
Whew. Okay, any more? Oh no, there's another. She's just got Beyblades, it's fine. Him, on the other hand. Crap. Yikes! With almost no HP to do that with. And I get a chalice, okay. Get real upgrades now. Oh, wait, he's alive now. The dark sockets of your skull no longer return my gaze. What memories, what old dreams have taken you from us? The dark sockets Is that it? of your skull. What memories? Or it's because I came from the left. What if I enter from the right? Nope, she's still dead. Okay. Down to the right. I have no HP for this though, that's the problem. Okay, heal up. Release the boss, take out the boss, and then we're done the first act. The parries! Oh crap. Forgot about chandeliers. Or he lost it. Wait, where'd he go? What glitch happened there? That was a smooth train. Like it immediately goes from the parry into just execution. Power, how's it going? I see the comment. And just all the way down. Wait, no, don't go all the way down. I gotta heal up. Over. Am I going the right? Yeah, heal up and then boss time. There's too many of these little guys around. No, you made it in time for the, the third boss of this area. It's probably a Welcome butterfly? Welcome to this palace. How silent. That's How not a butterfly. How mundane these luxurious chambers have been. Halls that were once frequented by the most distinguished of visitors. They all ended up staying here. Captives. Trapped. Petrified like golden statues. Prisoners of the very riches they craved. Dance now with my steel, penitent one. We will embroider your flesh in sacred torment, in a tapestry of blood and gold. That's a... On guard. Big blade. Lady Embroiderer. She's gonna thrust! Whoa! I can probably parry that. Beautiful! Ow! For a decent chunk of damage, too. 
She keeps doing that move though. Ow! Then she does. Oh! Whoa! Oh, I could have done more. Is there going to be some music for her soon? It's building up. Quit bouncing! Ow! Ow! Keep forgetting that move. Yikes! Just don't move. Aw, oh, I finally do the big move. There, that's real damage. There's gotta be a second phase to this. Again? Okay. Whoa! Uh, just wait! Did that wrong. That's it? Come on, the last boss was way more complex than that one. Got one mark for it. I got a good chunk of cash out of it, though. Okay, story time. I see all your comments, Power. On vertical and horizontal. <laughs> the problem is the chat system isn't registering them with my multi-chat reader. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Orospina, am the daughter of the looms. Of the mantle of gold and fine silver and scarlet and white. Eldest sister of the confraternity of embroiderers. Ancient secret of the needle and the thread. Where I go, naught shimmers with gold. And my graceful steel will never again adorn the air with its elegant silver calligraphy. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. But the miracle, who bestows and rests away its grace with inscrutable agency, saw its will tarnished in its prolonged absence. Erring in its newly created work, it conferred on that child as much its own as that of another. The blessing of deformity, it spread throughout our land like a contagion. Its accursed seeds germinating like the wounds that sprout upon the scourged flesh of the repentant. Story time over. The warm and golden caress of twilight invites me to close my eyes. Let the miracle cast open its black gates so I might venture to where that terrible dream from which one never wakes awaits. If anyone just prays and gets out of there. No, I already played all the Super Smash Brothers. Like, I played the first, I, well, I played the most recent one on Switch for, like, a good, who knows how many hours, and then just kind of, like, I, everyone around here just got bored of it. And we moved on to other games.
Well, story time from what's her name. With the coolest exit in the whole in both games, she has the coolest exit. The full testimony has been revealed to you, and the counterfigure of the witness has at last descended. The three great stone figures of the family have humbled themselves before us all. Raise your eyes as the dazzling beauty of the upper reaches of the City of the Blessed Name welcomes you. Now go forth. Let not doubt leave its vexatious mark upon you. Okay, watch. Look how she leaves. Oh, amazing. Why was she trapped in a cocoon, though? They never... They didn't talk about that. 800 bucks. Secret wall? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Head back to town. Get some upgrades. Go to the next area. So I'll just warp back. Oh, we have to go. We actually go back to town anyways. Okay. You have to go upstairs. Not going up there yet. First, I got to cash in all this stuff. Uh, first spot is more health. How much has she peeled off now? Oh no. Still just the arm. With this crystal, I mark and imbue thy flasks with silver and bile. Oh, she also does the increase. I did not I thought it was going to be someone else. Only the miracle shall know how many crystals have been bathed in its grace. Give her the chalice. Now I shall enhance the vital light within me. There we go. I shall wait for thee to bring me more chalices. Bring me chalices and vials, and I shall fill- What's this blood do? Why did I give you blood? Like, do something with it. Like, eventually she's gonna drink it or something, right? Uh, there is a shop here. Might as well just buy her out. Oh, there's someone above me, too. Okay, what does she have? You point. Statues. I can I can't buy everything. I can buy statues. Buy everything else. There, just buy it all. Here among my wares. Oh, that's not a person, that's just a statue. See it? Oh wow, she now all my cash is gone. Down to 3900 And they've moved to okay, exactly what I thought would happen. So take this to the artist and see what I get for it. Sculptor, not the artist. We gotta get some kind of run ability later or some some actual dash. Plus, I gotta check all the combinations for these, uh... All these statues I bought. How can I assist thee? Trifon. Allow me to present you with a new piece for your silver altar piece. I thought you were going to give me one. For three? That's a lot. I only have three. Go to May the hand what about my sword? Do I get anything for the sword? Base damage. Performing the weight. Base damage is pretty good. I'm going to take it. I'm going to max the sword. This run, I'm just going to max the sword. Any cash after that, marks after that, I'm going to use for some other upgrades. But I'm not... I don't think I'm going to upgrade... 
The daggers are the mace for the rest of the game. Just focus on the sword for this playthrough. And then next playthrough, do the daggers. Playthrough after that, do the mace. I still have to look for more magic and make something stronger here. But I also need to see all the combinations for the statues. If there are any. Jeez, I bought a lot of them. Hey, no, put that, put that one back. Increase the life damage inflicted when life is low. Recovers health after an execution. Ooh, that one made a combo. See an enemy halts the passage of time for a few seconds. Okay. Ah, uh, cutting wave. The, that's both pretty good. Is there anything else? Nope, I screwed him up. There we go. Okay. Uh, Slaughter, Rosary. There's more combinations to try, though. I got so many. Oh, what was this one? Increase the Rugal with strength. Yes. Okay. This is what I want. Okay. And then I want to ditch these ones for that other set I have. Wait. What happened? Wait. Is she used in both? I think she is. She is. Crap. Okay. Uh... Halts the passage of time. Is there anything I can do with the old man? Oh, I already found one. Creates bear of thorns and struck and flitting. I don't want barriers. I'll stick with the old man. See what other combinations I can find, if any. Oh. No, this is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Okay. May the hat I missed read them, I guess. Everything else I've gotten? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save definitely after that. Okay, gonna take a quick break, check on a few things, get a glass of water or some kind of drink, then come back and see what the next, like, act start, the next start of the act looks like. Because at this point, we're going up to the castle, and then who knows what's gonna, where it's gonna take me after that. So give me like five, ten minutes, I'll go take care of a few things. Okay, I'm back. So good to go. I'm just gonna go straight to the castle. I don't think I need to do any exploration right now. The game will work. There we go. And we're just going straight up right now. Like I'll wait till I get all my mobility moving abilities before <laughs> ability movement. Until I, but I'll explore every other area once I get all my mobility because I don't think I can do everything like here or make that jump over here. So there's a few things I need to do. And eventually come back and explore everywhere, find every collectible. Oh, here he is. The upper reaches of our city, once unreachable and unfathomable, have descended. Countless legends tell of the many secrets that the heights have hidden and laid watch over for seeming eternities. Can it be the city that prostrates itself before so many parishioners, beckoning us to witness the birth of the child more closely? What holiness lies before us? Cast your eyes upon our shop window. He's gonna have like one item again, probably. Yep. I uh, increase resistance my asthma. Don't need it. Is there nothing of interest to you? What a pity. Yeah, I need to buy everything from them because they probably keep climbing up and exploring with me. Eventually, like, it's gonna be like finish so and so's story for an achievement kind of thing. So I just gotta keep buying things from them and finding them in the new spots. Song's pretty good so far, too. Whoa! Uh, okay, found a safe spot. 
I gotta find the warp. That's the key thing. Ooh, new guys. Okay. They don't do much. Neither do the fireball guys. One ball of my... Oh, whoa. That took a chunk of my HP. You can just explode it, though. I got my double jump. I got a new mark. Put it all into the sword when able. Well, there's a lot to check around here. Just three hits to kill? Okay. All they do is pick up a rock and throw it. They don't even try and defend themselves. There. Three hits. The Demented One! I got- I got the best statues. The little statue collectibles. I found the three I want to use for probably the rest of the game. Or, the, I found the four, but I need to upgrade them all. Once I upgrade the sword completely, I will probably upgrade for more, uh, statue slots. Empty receptacle? Okay. In order to get more healing done. Oh, well, new guys. They do the exact same attack, though. Maybe they have their own execution. I'm not sure. I've seen that one too many times now. Okay, not doing that. Okay, I know it needs to be done. First step is getting rid of this guy. He's multiplying! <laughs> Was not expecting that from him. There. Perfect. Am I going the right way? I have no idea. Ooh, got the parry. Oh yeah, my damage is upgraded. I increased the damage on it. That was a uh, early stun. Did like a quarter damage and it was ready to kill. And then I get my time stop ability. It's looking good. It would be nice to get it here if enemies actually spawn. Hurry, he's gonna multiply! There he goes. And that's a new guy. Dash! Ugh. Ah, crap. I was worried that one of those orbs was just gonna take me out. Because the little green one, the same enemy of that kind, was like half healthing you if you even let him touch you once. Did I reach that? No. Okay. Just double jump over him. Don't let him multiply! Oh crap! Don't give you enough time, they run away so fast! Oh, he's walking around this time! Oh, 
Oh, I, uh, they're all execute ready. I want to see the other ones. Oh, he just uses the branch. Come on. I want unique animations, not rehash. He almost multiplied. Yeah, you do not get enough heals off this. Oh yeah, you do. That lasted a while. Okay, that was worth it. I made all my health back. And the time- ooh! Attacks twice! Attacks twice and the second one's pretty fast! Not fast enough. There we go. Uh... Okay. I know what's gonna happen, but... Some of these are... Stationary for the whole duration. Okay. I should probably just heal. I don't need to fight him. He's not a threat right now. <laughs> He's a bedridden ghoul. There ain't much he can do. I like the sound effect off jumping him. Oh, this guy again? Come on, do the spin move. There it is. I don't know if it does more damage or not. It just looks cool. No enemies. Anything down here? There we go. Okay. I can use that for another upgrade. If I can, probably just find as many upgrades as I can before the next boss. Cash out and just lay into them. No! Uh, I'll go up for now. Wrong attack! Or wrong weapon. Break the wall! Oh, I gotta do it again? Oh, I can't even make that jump. Okay. There's a lot of fight rooms in this game, in this area. Sick, like, huh? Oh, Nichi knows. There we go. Like, this may be the fourth fight room. Does like no damage. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, switching weapons resets the gauge. I didn't know that. That makes sense, I guess. I just I was hoping I could just build it up and lay into them. Another one? Oh no! New guys! 
Ooh. Burn them all. Oh, that was half my health. Like my third death in this game. I was not expecting new enemies right there. Oh, jeez. There's a souped up version of the enemy I hate the most, too. Oh, there's a cherub. Almost halfway. Oh, it still got me. Ow. Why does everything hurt here? Okay, good. I didn't take a hit there. That time I did. Oh, uh, oh. Ow. Holy, oh, even the orbs can kill you. Holy crap. I was just thinking like, yeah, take the hit, it's fine, just pick up your corpse. No, orbs were enough. Just don't even deal with that thing, just keep going. I won't get much of my mana back though. Do that. Get the execute. Stop time. He's multiplying! And something still hit me. This ain't good. Yikes! Aw, oh, man. Okay, one. Okay, perfect. Do this. New guy spawns. Still hurts too much. Holy crap! I should have just parried it. I was hoping I could just go ham with everything going. Nope. I had time stop going in the buff and everything. Wait, I have double jump. I should just double jump the swing. Oh, he got me. Yikes. Oh, okay, stop touching him. <laughs> Thank you. 
Keep swinging. Okay, stop time. He's right on top of my health. Those hurt so much. That wasn't even the right spell you're supposed to do. Huh. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> that I can parry them. And then I have to go back to base to. Uh, or back to the village to get the guilt off so I get my full H my full mana back. Almost had it. Of course I didn't want the shrapnel, I wanted the firestorm. he had me. Jeez, just lay into him. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Supposed to be stunned. Hey! Oh, you can cancel it. Then this little guy in the back here. Oh, this little guy got me in the way. No, I just take out the little guy first, maybe. Keep the big guy in the middle, jump over, cancel the spell. Done. I didn't know you could transform the blade and just go ham on the big guys and it'll be enough. So much damage. Of course, I lost it all. I'll do this first. Whoa! You did that so early. Okay, good. Execute. Time stop. Got an achievement there. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it canceled it. Problem is I'm in a bad state. He's dead. There's more. Heal up. I think I'm okay. There. Okay, finally. And I even get a heal. 
But I do need to go back to base and get rid of the guilt. Actually, no, it's only at like 18%. I'm already done 57% of the map, which I don't like. Do I want to go this way? No, I'm going to do this later. First explore the rest of this area. It's all crit hits with this guy. <laughs> Down he goes. Check the rest of the temple before I go into like another region. Oh, there we go. Or not. Wait. There we go. There's one cherub. Let's mark that on the map, actually. You're supposed to do the uppercut! There we go. Man, there's so much stuff I can't reach. Yeah, everything. Can't do nothing around here. Yeah. I think I have to go to the chapel. Let's see what else I can do. Okay, connect that map. I don't think double jumps enough. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's see what it's up there. Maybe I jumped over the pit that I'm supposed to use. There we go. I've already done this region. Yeah, I'm gonna move this chair and put him there. Uh, what else can I do? I didn't even check this way. So I might, I might as well go now. In case, in case of stray upgrades that I just didn't grab. Down, I keep going down. All this guy gets to do is, to, like, it looks like a normal, just generic man doing it, too. Like, and not demon or anything. Oops. Don't let him multiply! He multiplied. I don't know if they can multiply again, but I don't want to chance it. It could be a dead end for one item, too. Like, I have no idea what it's going to be. Could be a one way, too. It's a one way? Crap! Okay. Gotta go all the way back up now. I'll heal. Only thing left is go back, see if I can go down, then connect. And I don't really need to fight anything here. Unless I want to farm marks, like, get enough experience for one, but... I don't think it's needed right now. I think I've gotten every upgrade for this sword anyways right now, until I find the next up- until I find the next, like, level for it. Same animation for the purple guys. I get my time stop, though. Man, 
Man, I've had more trouble with that one golden enemy than I have with any of the bosses. And it's just because of the damage output, too. Two hits, you're dead from this random enemy. Okay, yeah, there is a ladder here. Oh, oh, this is the normal one. Yeah, when he casts the lightning, it just looks like he's going like, yes, and the lightning surges out. Oh, no. See, it just, that's what it looks like every time. I could parry it. It's probably easier. One switch. Nothing. There, oh, whoa. Yay, but at the same time, I don't really want it. Unless some of those skills are completely crazy. Ah, we can look at them. What do we got? Increases base defense. Press one after attack on the ground to convert into a powerful horizontal strike. That's... That's cool. Have the time required to charge. Oh, these are level one. I haven't even looked at the right ones. Use the fervor consumed by Verdict when activated and increases its elemental damage. Yay. Can't look at the rest though. Increases damage when counterattacking. Unleash a barrage of threat. Yeah, can't even look at them until I upgrade. No, no point. I'll max out the sword. I'll max out my statue slots, and then if I have any spares, I'll uh see what the other- oh crap. I'll see what the other abilities are for the weapons. But for now, just- just focus on the sword. Oh, you can break the rocks, okay. Not even attacking the right way. I did see the chest, but I'm gonna come back to it. We have to come back to this region anyways. And go that way. I will put a marker down. We will use Roblox. I don't know if that's a jewel, but I'll, I'm just signifying it as like a red wall. What if offering of the miserable? Well, what kind of... So it increases resistance to all elemental. I definitely need more slots for the items too. How do I get up there? Looks like there's a whole world. Is that a path? It looks like a path up there. This is all going to connect to the entrance. It's the only reason I'm doing this is for that one item. Oh, I reached it. Okay. There. Now I'm halfway for cherubs. This is... Oh, it connects there. Okay. So now I'm going somewhere else entirely. I knew there'd be a ward like sick, like markers for how much you get done. Penitent one, my brothers will show you a way to the top of the tower. Help us by freeing more brothers, so the tower will reveal to you what it holds. Like that's probably the halfway re reward.
Oh, it's a mark. Okay, I thought it was just me. Cash. Is there anything I can see? No. What kind of stinks is that some of these uh, cherubs are going to waste. Since I have double jump, like, I can just skip three right here. Probably skip four. Yeah. Four, so, four of these cherubs are worthless. And what's stopping them from, like, using it as a platform and the other one's flying up to be a platform again? They're being lazy. Okay, keep climbing the tower. You can go to the next area now. Right? Yeah, keep going up. Oh yeah, I didn't even check all of this area since I was busy distracted trying to fight that one enemy. Yeah, it's like the third hit you can do the uppercut. I don't know if it's the twirl is on the third hit as well. Can't even test it on that guy. Yeah, that's the third hit. Spin is on third hit too. It might just be worth doing the fourth hit. Not really. The damage isn't that significant. Can't go that way. Unless it builds more, like, fervor or something. I could dash through him, maybe. I didn't even test that. Uh, okay. This opens up another path, then. I'm not gonna take it yet. Oh, there's an enemy. Okay. Break this. There we go. It's just a girl in a bed. That's one of the sisters, I guess. <laughs> All it takes to kill him. I don't know why there's just a sick person in a bed in this random chapel. Or in this giant, like... What is this place? It's a palace, that's right. There's something else I can do here, I think. No. Nope. That was it. There. Leads to death. Okay! That's it. They jump over, power up, lay into them, get all your health back. There we go. And we can't talk to these people, but there's going to be someone to talk to here. Oh, it's the the pigeons. Other said four envoys wrapped my body in soft linen cloths. Mother said, follow the heartbeats that herald the birth. Penitent one, be pleased to receive this gift that a candid voice in a dream asked me to give thee. A voice whose owner shall always be unknown to me. Key of the Pilgrim. O oh heart that descends from heaven, what doth thou seeketh from us? Back to praying. Is he going to talk again about the pigeons? 
the miracle shows us mercy and bestows upon this shadow the right to speak. Never will I comprehend for what exalted reasons I was chosen to witness and narrate the events by which the miracle sought to return to us. For many eons have passed since it abandoned us. Oh, I see my request was granted, and that blessed pilgrim delivered my offering to you. <laughs> the blessed pilgrim. <laughs> Cast open the cages whose keys were stolen. Dove, who borrows thine color from the raven, escape your gilded prison. Oh, right, it's click. <laughs> no, like, that was so nonchalant. Just open cage, fly. Like, no dramatic exit or anything. Back to praying. I don't deserve that one. Like, that means there's one less boss to worry about. I'm not sure where we're going now. Oh! Going way over here! Where are we going then? I have a key. I don't remember any doors around there. I thought the rest of the game was going to be in this palace. Okay, down to the right. Like, I thought it was just a series of, like, floors upon floors we were going to be climbing. There we go. Okay, back to the village. We got a few upgrades to cash in. Ah, uh, yes. Aw, oh, man. I gotta cash out a lot. Travel to the city from any... What? Oh! That's... That's good. Oh, yeah, by the end of the first one, you upgrade all... You give enough cash to the church, you can... Travel from any save point. I forgot about that. Like it upgrades the prayer stations. I remember. Come on, get down. Oh, yeah. She's gonna be just bowling by the end of this. Now I shall grant thee a new flask. Bring me more vials. Bring me chalices and vials. Okay, I'm gonna give more blood here. I don't know what this does, but keep doing it until something happens. It's gonna be a pile of bones by the end of this. Uh, what do I want to do next? Check the shops, see what I can do. 
see if they have any new goods. You put just marks. Eh, I'll buy it. Immediately put it into the sword. Yeah, upgrade the sword a bit more. By the end, this sword's gonna be a behemoth. I'm hoping for at least one more strength boost to it. Don't think I can reach that yet. Oh, I don't know if you can even grab a ledge on these. No, you can't. Okay. Uh, do I have anything for... What's his name? Genuine protection. Okay, yeah, I have to go back. I have to go to the other town and cash out all those upgrades. I say other town, but it's just like... Yeah, it is another town, actually. Wait, wait, I gotta go back. I have to get rid of this curse on me. So, so be it. The sacrament, your guilt has been purged, but will remain my eternal burden, for that is my appointed purpose. Now go. Am I just clear now? Zero percent? Yeah. Probably an achievement or some story thing if you let it get to 100%. Like this guy might be the replacement for those little like pearls you have to taint in the first game. Much time. You must know that I am a blind man. And yet the miracle has seen fit not to plunge me into utter darkness. More than ever, its divine light shines within me. A fiery glow that outlines with meek compunction the features of Our Lady at the very moment we witnessed the most wondrous act we were to behold in our humble lives. All who were there were blinded by a light a fleeting flash that compelled us all to avert our gaze, thus casting us into deepest darkness. The remnants of that radiance engraved upon me the merciful visage, beautiful in both form and proportion, of Our Lady. Never could I forget it, for I was branded by that fire that burns perpetually within mine own eyes. Oh, I got nothing. Ah, uh, increase altarpiece. The altarpiece on here, I will wait. I I'm gonna max these by the end. I have to. I want to see all the good combinations. Increase physical damage inflicted. Look, look at all these little statues I got. Ah, uh, increases fire, lightning, miasma, mystical, increases the chance of critical hits. Increases the damage of prayers. Duration of Blood Pact. Strength of... That one's probably the best one. Uh, increase the window time to form a block. Generate when attacking enemies. Yeah, I'm going... We're... He's the best one. There's gotta be a combo for him, too. And soup up the sword even more. I'm at only 16 of 40 marks, too. That doesn't sound right. I've used way more marks than 16. Okay, I need to go to the next village. Wait, no. Which one? Is this the city? Okay. I wouldn't call this a city. This is more of a village. The other town is more of a city than this. Uh, 
Uh, this one. So talk to the hand, get more mana, talk to uh, the candle girl, get another chunk of health, or another slot for items. Do you have rosary enough now? Let my hands not a new mystery. Your rosary now treasures. See, I don't like how her candles like extinguish because it just lets me know there's two items left. I don't like the game telling you how many items are left in the first playthrough, at least. It just now I know I'm already like three fifths of the way done that area. And the map tells you you're I'm 61% done the map. And I've only played for like five hours. There, more mana. Feel your further exude mine own penitent one. I shall now go talk to the old lady, see if she has anything for me. Of course, this takes forever to go through. Oh, one chair in the sky now. May the bells chime twice, for the vigil begins. Oh. And we shall sink into a sea of mourning. Oh, enemies. The parries! I killed both of them. Are we gonna fight every type of enemy along the way? <laughs> Just a bunch of urns. Hurry, my gauge is ticking. Oh, it's empty. Summoned at the wrong time. Oh, I'm in the sky. I'm in the air. Uh, there's a big gap between the candle bearers and the old lady. There's a lot of enemies that have been skipped. Okay, I'm trapped. More executes. Oh, I love the time stop. So good. Oh, big guy. Okay, that was a waste of my gauge. That was a terrible buff. He's still alive! I thought he was dead on that shot. I got Terso. Tierso. Another statue, basically. <laughs> Oh, one of the candles are lit now. Come back here when I got five more of them dead. Uh, going up. Do I want to go up though? I need to go way over here somehow. I've got a key. I don't I don't know where to use it. It's got to be around here. I'll start with left. Yeah, I'll start left. Oh, it got me. Not for much damage, but it still got me.
There we go. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. Ooh. Giant beam. Is there nothing of it? What a pity. I'll be back when I got some cash. Oh. As, as soon as I entered, I was like, one of these partridges is going to attack me. <laughs> I was expecting the, the very first room of them. Anything else here? No. Probably one of these portraits is a secret. Like it's a fake. Speaking of fake, there's something here, I think. It's a big area for nothing. We're oh, we're still in a new area. Okay. He's got a lot of HP. You only gave 130 experience, too. Oh, boy, what's that way? Check out what's over here. I'm just connecting paths right now, I guess. Okay, that's all connected now. But it's a one-way trip. Uh, I have to work completely around. Right? No, no, this is new. Ooh, what'd I get? Triple jump. Some kind of movement ability. Mercy of the wind. Everyone can now perform an aerial dash. See, he was going to get it eventually. In mid air, mid fall, to propel yourself forward. Use this ability to break through some previously impenetrable barriers. Okay. That, okay, just one dash. You can do it off a dash wall, too. Okay, that opened up a whole world for me, basically. <laughs> what about up here? There we go. Can I go any higher? Yeah, there's a whole world up here for me now. I think at this point, I can probably go back to the start of the game and start collecting things. Oh! Snuff out her life. Another arena to do. This is gonna open up another path for me. Oh, I didn't make it! I don't think I can make it now. Just redo it. I don't know. Oh, okay, made it. This is a whole new area too. Just do as much as I can. No! Can I just make this as a double jump? No. Oh, okay, I made it. Yeah, the, the penitent one shouldn't have any mobility like this. Oh, <gasps> the final upgrade. This thing is going to rip things apart. I think I have three marks anyways, too. Yep. Increase the base damage. 
Increasing the duration. Halves the cost. Upgrade the power of the Macrythm Slash with a ground level shockwave. No, increase damage. There we go. I'm gonna make, the next thing I'm gonna get is the upgrade to the combo and just let this thing go crazy. I can take this off the map now. But yeah, Penton 1 shouldn't be able to double jump and dash. It just doesn't seem right for the character. If it was some like lunging slash, sure, that makes a little more sense. Can't go that way. Oh, now I can dash through all these too. There. Whoa, he can teleport. Is it just climbing a tower, basically? Nope. I don't know if I can make that one loop, though. Oh, I made it! Okay. Those are always so close. Oh. Oh, they teleport all over. I expected more enemies on that one. Just double jump, skip the last, the first one. Secret walls, nothing. Okay. Okay, we have to climb all the way. Got it. Whoa, oh, that's an enemy. I thought that was like a cherub thing. Weren't these in the first game? I don't remember. Something hurt me. Ah. Uh, I think it died around the edge and I didn't even get the cash for the kill. Did the game glitch and there's no music again? I need a save point so I can hear the music again. Aw, oh, man. There we go. Oh, jeez. Nope. Do it again. First kill this ball. There. I didn't even get cash for it. to switch weapons. There we go. And I get a little platform and make it easier. Is it a boss? It is! I didn't expect a boss yet. Let us recite this endless litany together. 
whose verses chain us to an everlasting prayer that transcends death itself. Join me in endless orison. I didn't want a boss yet. I uh, get the other platform. I don't trust it. Whoa! Oh, jeez. No, those hurt. Oh, she does it again. That was half my health. Oh, jeez. Oh, you can attack. That makes things a lot easier. Poo. Ow. Oh, jeez, there's two of them. Ugh. Just let me hit her! Oh, no! Eee. Okay. I can't get her. This is more of a bullet. Oh, jeez, they're all in the vault. Ah. Oh, crap. Yikes! Yikes! I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Oh yeah, dude, you go through the side. You have to go through the floor, the wall. Whoa! There's a lot of downtime in this fight. Jeez. Wait, no, this way. There we go. I get it. I've got no more healing on me. More skeletons. Again? She hasn't changed a conveyor belt in a while. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect her to do that. <laughs> That's a cool boss. Now I know how to deal with the big attack though. She gonna talk again? No. Oh, right on top of me? Where is she? Oh, she's over there. More? I laid into her on that one. He keeps just going invisible, like, you can't do anything. That or she'll just spawn in a terrible location for you. She's still doing it. Oh! Oh, that didn't hit me? 
More skeleton. They're ghosts, whatever they are. Ooh, good hit. Ugh. Nothing else I can do. Oh, too early. I jumped into it. First attempt was better! I thought I could just stay in the air between them. Oh, this, this one's fun. This has already been the most attempted boss in the game. Next to, like, the blacksmith who only took two tries. Can I, like, cast some spells on her, maybe? Oh, yeah, I can use that one, and... Some ghastly bell. Definitely not the fire. Let's go... Let's try the bell. Ow! Missiles! Barely any damage. More missiles. Of course, she just goes invisible now, it's worthless. Oh, I know it needs to happen. Yeah, okay. It's already a quarter done. More ghosts. Whoa! Oh, she didn't bring him to this side. Whoa! Okay, she's half. She's probably gonna knock down one of the lanterns now. There she goes. Can't do anything. Just wait it out. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Heal up! Good shot. Those are also good shots. Again? Combos! Spikes! There we go. Unless there's another fit. No, they went to the red silhouette. You, that lets you know it's over. That was the most fun boss so far. I get three marks. That's a free upgrade for the sword. Got another key. Do I have to go all the way back to the pigeons to unlock them? Doves, whatever they are. Oh, I guess we just free them here. It's all that we have to manually walk up to it, like just make it a cinematic. The miracle was to create a new icon. An incarnate icon for all to revere. A symbol in which all our faiths, pleas, and hopes might be united in communion, so as to expand its diminished, almost extinct, might. Oh, here it goes. 
dove who borrows thine color from the raven quickly just flies away prison. it's so anticlimactic I have no idea where that is or what it's supposed to be. So that's two of the five final bosses. At this point, I think we're just going to be exploring all over the place for them. Another dove. <laughs> 